you know, Maru, there hasn't been a, a ton of time since the roster changes came through. We're just basically done right ahead of their the tiebreaker match versus WGS. So this roster is in some ways still trying yes. to figure out how they how they melt together. Um, then there have been growing pains. We've seen that for, you know, pretty much every single team when there have been adjustments made, other than I would say DRX when they added Buzz Mocker <laughs> to the lineup. Um, but even that, still some struggles from time to time. Okay. Mars still have some room to grow, but here we go. Enough about me blabbering. Let's take a look at the map select as we're going to start things off with Bind once more, but this time we change it up. It's not going to be a follow-up map of Haven. We're going to Fracture. Yeah, Fracture coming back here in playoffs. Of and course, Haven, Haven. Yeah, Haven will be saved if we go to a set three. Yeah, I, I'm kind of interested in seeing what the agent picks are going to be. Now, Bind was the map where Onslayer still showed a lot of confidence. They beat Domin Kia 13-3 in that first set yesterday. Came out with a new composition, double initiator, double controller, uh, really just locking down the sides and tying it up. Uh, whereas, I mean, Maru, they showed some new ideas here on Bind as well. They actually beat WGS. That was also their one set win uh, when they started off playoffs with their double duelist comp. Will that continue? Fracture's another one. Maru didn't look as clean. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, that for set number two. But see, now in playoffs, Nocchi did play that raise. In fact, on every map they played so far. So we'll see if they continue with that. Looks like it might be the case. Wix is taking over that chamber. Yeah, with Wix picking it up, very well could happen, and it will. So we will have the double duelist coming through for the side of Maru. Moves just gonna round out the composition with the breach. God Dead, of course, gonna be flipping over to the raise, and we get to see Bazzi once more on the sky. Overall, looked quite clean. Wasn't the flashiest, you know, uh, right. sky play that we've ever seen in our life from him on Bind yesterday, but he got his job done. Yeah, he was, I mean, he was very stable, right? And he used his uh, utility exactly on the timings they wanted. He was very much a team player yesterday, uh, just holding down B long. The, these are very different team comps, right? Very explosive, just get into the site and fight in terms of Mario Gaming's double duelist. Meanwhile, you got the two smokes on the other side. It's going to be a clash of very different styles. That it is. But guys, let's go ahead and kick off this lower bracket match on Slayers versus Maru. We start things off on Bind. We'll see who can take one step forward, stay in the tournament. The loser, at the end of it all, has to go home. Just as a note, we talked about, of course, Zumba mentioning they were shaken, but uh, in the pre-match interview, Wix also mentioned, well, we, we actually thought it was going to be Damo Kyo we were playing as well, so they had to scramble some new strats. Now, kicking hey, things off, it's going to be Onslaught's on attack. Maru, as they always do, especially now leaning into their style with this type of composition, they're going to have to start pushing out. Obviously, in the pistol will be slower, but their defense will always orient around one side of the map being pushed out and shuffling them into the site of their choice. Now Wick's just going to be jiggling on the corner, sat out front of Teleporter. Does have the rendezvous set up to snap him back, looks like into elbow. Uh, on Slayers, just wondering if, if they're going to peek out. They had a over-under on the fountain, double peek ready, should someone push out, knowing that Maru likes that. Okay, just goes for the swing, sees if he can catch anybody there where the dog connects, but does take a nice, a nasty hit of damage there, down to 44 HP. Good entry in from God Dead off of the smokes, right? Just doesn't want to take any chances. Knows that Mar will be quick on the rotate. Oh, she up. Drops down. Does he know that TS is here? Yeah, apparently he does. TS going to end up falling. Now Bazzi going to be taken down. But God Dead responding with two quick kills as Cheap Up and Wix will both fall. Then we have a 3v3 with Jonghai tagged up. Moves, oh. opens it a bit more, though, finding an elimination. Yeah, but this is still in favor of Maru simply because the spike is down. Oh, Jonghai managing to get God Dead on the exit now. Nakji has King pinned into the cubby, gets that final kill, and Maru will kick things off with a pistol win. I mean, this all started off with that kill you called out, Achilles Chibob using the fast lane to get in safely. Now, TS makes the right call not to try to spam through it. He had such a good position that if he wasn't spotted, he could try to cut off another member of Maru Gaming. But Chibob goes into cubby, doesn't spot anyone, and he says, that's weird, where are they? And he eventually gets TS. That allows them to stop the plant uh, and stabilize in a 3v3, 2v2, and down to a 1v1, and Nakji's able to clean things up with the frenzy. Very nicely done. Big boon for Mara. That's certainly going to instill some confidence on Slayers. Not feeling confident enough to go for a force buy. Yeah, I mean, with no plan, you'd have to invest everything, right? So yeah. they're going to uh -oh. stop on that. All right. Yeah, well, we did see a bit of a hiccup on the Observer earlier, so we'll have to wait and see. 
Uh, but this gives me a chance to talk a little bit more about what we're expecting to see. Now on Slayers, with the double controller, uh, this has been quite common you know, in days past, currently in other regions as well. And I think here in playoffs, we've seen the top teams really lean into this. Using the Viper to make sure that you can always, for one, play distraction, but always have something set up for retakes or you know, a rotation. And then you have another smoke like the Brimstone, who can really be the entry smoke, so to speak. And that's going to always play around showers in some way, shape, or form. Showers and lamps. So they'll cut that site up uh, and force them to have to give up control of teleport or showers and make a choice from the defender's side. Mara Gaming, uh, quite frankly, they, they don't care about that. No matter who their opponent is, they will push out eventually. <laughs> so uh, that's the only way they yeah. can play. They don't, they don't have any way to gain information. That's the biggest thing, right? So they have to push out and take over space to have confidence of where Onslayers might be on the attack. So once we get into round three and four, I, whoever wins those first couple rounds will dictate what the pacing will be here for the first half. Well, seems like for now, we just have to wait and relax. See if Mara can get this follow-up round or if strategy, uh, strategy will, will strike is what I was about to say. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this all of a sudden. Tragedy <laughs> will strike. Uh, well, I the strategy to, could strike as well. Yeah, just <laughs> You're not wrong. Crisscross all of my words here. Because, uh, you know, if you pay attention to NA earlier, there was some pretty <laughs> tragic anti-eco losses uh, so uh, that had occurred. Yeah, so this is a meme from one of the old variety shows here in Korea. They're trying to draw a portrait of that person as Neon, who's supposed to be Chiba playing Neon. <laughs> it's a little bit of a scary image, but uh, yeah, so we'll have to just wait. It looks like we're identifying uh, what's going on. We'll be able to sort it out as soon as possible. Yep, once we get any word, we'll keep you guys updated, but hopefully shouldn't take too long, and then we can get things back underway. Of course, it is a bit of a slow-moving Monday afternoon here in Seoul. But still, fans making their way to the studio, starting to filter in a bit more as we get into uh, closer to the evening hours. Yeah, I mean, you know, weekdays, obviously. We, we start at 4 p.m. Uh, Korea time, so it's a little hard. if you're working, Even if you're at school, maybe you go to an academy. And then you have to make your way over here. It takes a little while, right? So yeah, and we'll, then you we'll might have to go to another academy later tonight. As Koreans do. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh... The, the one thing that makes me grateful that I grew up in the States, I think. Oh, yes. That I didn't have to go Absolutely. to Absolutely. I mean, same for me, right? I mean, I've spent my childhood kind of split between the States and, and Korea, but I escaped Korea just in time before I hit the age where everyone was going to academies <laughs> and you were never home. Yeah. And, and then I got to be in the States. And, you know, I would finish school and play flag football and then go home, do a little bit of homework, watch some TV, watch some Disney Channel. For me, it was go home, play like RuneScape or Diablo 2, oh, Warcraft yeah, yeah. 3. Oh, yeah, you started early, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then just play until I got kicked off the computer. But, uh, yeah. Uh, but now that I am at, 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 you know, older age, married, thinking about having a family in, in right. the, the somewhat near future, I'm like, yeah, my kids are going to grow up in Korea. They're going to go to that hog. They're going to go. They're going <laughs> to go to their hog one. They're going <laughs> to take class after they get out of school. Oh my! We're not going back to the states. They don't get to. They don't get to have that experience. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, in, in Korea, again, I mean, if everyone's doing it, that's the only way to keep up, right? It's just a different way of growing up, different education style. I like it or hate it. Uh, so, just a little insight for you guys who might not know what it's like growing up out here in Korea. I think that, I mean, obviously I can't speak from experience, but I feel like, especially with uh, just the competitive drive in, in Koreans when it comes down to esports, probably the limited amount of time that you have to compete because you have so much schooling, when you finally do manage to like get on your computer, whether it's at home or if you go to a PC bong, you really care about the games that you're playing, and so you're try-harding all the time uh, well, because yeah. you have such limited windows of opportunity to be able to go because otherwise you're studying. Yeah, I, I mean, listen, and that's kind of just what the Korean mentality is about anything and everything, right? For one, Korean culture, these days it's gotten a lot better, but the joke used to be, well, if you're not first, you're last, right? We'll, we'll never remember anyone except who's standing in first place uh, in anything. Uh, and then, like you said, well, to keep up in kind of the traditional path, you have to invest so much time. So if you're going to do something, whether it's sports, whether it's esports, whatever it might be, you really got to make your time count. Uh, and, and we're seeing that oftentimes at the top of the level really pay off. But obviously the road to get there may not always be easy. Uh, but one good thing, you know, bringing this back to Valorant and VCT is that we've been able to see a lot of families support their players here. And now this is uh, a fan of, oh, it's <laughs> both, I think, Bazzi and Zumba using a little poem acronym for Zumba's real name. But then also 
kind of sneaking in Bazzi's name in there just to cheer for both players. But it's like you mentioned, these two guys are the ones who have had a longer history here, uh, almost more than anyone uh, out of the VCT Korea scene in terms of FPSs, and they've had such a growing fan base across multiple games. And now they're performing in what was supposed to be a team that fought back against DRX, but now they find themselves here in the loser's bracket. Yeah, I mean, they haven't really been able to do that since the first round Robin meeting against DRX in stage one, where they were able to 2-0 them. Uh, but since then, DRX has had their number. Now you see Tom and Kia starting to have their number. So it, there's a required bounce back here for Onslayers if they want to get into that, uh, you know, that second place position, if they want to get into the grand final, have an opportunity to take down whoever their opponent is there and then make their way to their first international event. So pressure is certainly mounting for these guys. Seems like this might be a little bit of an extended issue. So I think we could we could maybe do uh, one of my favorite segments. Uh oh. Which is uh, to to let's just you know where we answer questions that we know the chat is asking because they're okay. predictable. Oh okay. Um, All right. Oh, so, I love this segment. So we're gonna go back into the frequently asked questions. <laughs> uh, I love I this suppose. segment because it always makes me excited to see what the answers are going to be, although they are frequently asked and answered, you know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll see. I think we are getting ready to go back into the game, so maybe we won't get too far into okay. this one. But, Just a couple of teasers. Uh, people are probably asking, like, why are they talking about PC Bungs and Hog Ones and giving right. their life yeah. story, what they used yeah. to play? Uh, why aren't they talking about the games? Because one round has been played. That is true. There's nothing to break down And there's here. nothing else to talk about. We broke down everything. Chibob had a very good scout on TS. Yeah. And then it was 1v1 trades. So... That's pistol round. Yeah. No. So it, that's not good enough. But guys, I'm being told we do have to take a little bit of a break. We'll be back in about five minutes. Don't go anywhere. and We'll continue this little powwow.
And welcome back. We're here. Yeah, we we're are still here. here. We did not run away. This dead silent studio. <laughs> <laughs> Let's cut the music. Um, I think we are hopefully about ready yeah, to go I back in. Yeah, I see the timer counting down. Yeah. So that looks should like be a good uh, sign. Looks like it's a moving. So ideally, we can get things underway here in just a moment. Granted, that could be a test. The it countdown could, that we're could, seeing. It could be so a test. We're not a hundred percent certain yet, but. We're back to talk with you guys. Yeah, I think I think it is actually. I think you are correct. I think they're just going through an, another iteration. Obviously, you know, we want to make sure it doesn't happen again. Uh, yes. should, should we gun, go into one roadblock? So, just clearing things out. But hopefully, these are the final checks uh, here. Now, uh, it looks like I mean, on on Slayers, it looks like they are uh, they're feeling okay for now. Though I mean, Maru also they they look like they're they're happy with what they're seeing. So hopefully, we'll see things uh, get rolling soon. Now, uh, while we wait, yeah, uh, I know we've we've had more and more people uh, coming in, whether it's new to VCTKR or just overall uh, kind of first time watching VCT in general. This stage, there, there's been a lot of questions, even abroad, of well, what's exactly the format? Can anyone play? Like, can anyone enter? Uh, each region has, you know, some differences, but generally, right, uh, in the beginning of the year, we had uh, wide open qualifiers, and then you have some seeding teams into stage two. You still had a couple qualifiers for most regions except for EMEA. That, you can look up the article. They have a different system they're testing out there uh, to allow regional leagues to grow their own player base. Uh, but overall, it yeah. all feeds season to season. You get points, and then it all rolls into the last chance qualifier and champions at the end of the year. Why well, I, I don't I shouldn't say end of the year because it's going to be in the fall. It's, yeah. right? it's, it's pretty early compared to most other esports leagues. But it's I mean that's what we're all gunning for, right? And this tournament right now for VCT Korea. This is to get to first place. There's one seed from Korea that gets to go to Masters Copenhagen, which is happening in about three weeks, four weeks, uh, and, and the winner gets to go. So if you go there, you get more circuit points, you get international experience, potential to win uh, that tournament and go straight to champions. Uh, obviously, there's a lot on the line. Oh, yeah, it's huge. And I mean, you know, especially for like DRX, who were looking to have a, a repeat both at Copenhagen yes. for another Masters event, but also at champions. And if they can go and attend that tournament, then... They basically lock in champions, and oh. everybody else has to go through the LCQ. But hey, look at that. It's gameplay. Woo! Perfect. That's what people like. Yes. We know no what the more, people want. No more caster stop talking, start game yeah. in the chat. Yeah, listen, or whatever I, you're saying. I know you guys think production doesn't know what the fans want, but look at this. They do. They know you want <laughs> the game and not just the studio. Wow, the studio is very beautiful. All right, so we're on round two. Maru won the pistol. No plants or no force buy. I mean, they could have, but it would have been a very risky investment. So Onslayers will just be going with a single sheriff buy and a little bit of utility. All right. Looking like just a five stack push. Slow creep up now into short. Yeah, you got to do what you can. Now, this will give them up to control of lamps and the teleporter. Right as the screen goes down, if they can get a kill, they'll go to A, but there is potential that they could try to rotate. Good check with the boom. Bot jumping forward king, trying to get some shots in on the cheap op. I think it really connect too much damage. Everybody tucked into the Ooh. corners. The paint shells just kinds of tickles them. Yeah, but this is... Uh, I mean, I don't know if they... Okay, they do get one on the trade. But they weren't ready for Nock G. Straight up oh. behind the box. There's only the single kill found so far. Bassy. Does manage to get the enemy raised, but as he tries to turn back, shift to the opposite side of Lamps, he will end up falling. So two kills, two rounds now for Morrow. And it will, we'll see if they can change their fortunes here on Slayers as they get some rifles picked up. 
Yeah, Onslaught is a five stack, so obviously there was no way to gain information whether they could go through the teleporter or not. They were kind of stuck there. You could tell what they were going for after the initial kill doesn't work out is just let's get get a couple trades. Uh, Maru bought four, you know, four specters, so a little bit of damage done, but at the end of the day, fine on both sides. The biggest thing is Onslaught didn't get the plant on both rounds, right? So now we see the half armor on Bazi. And of course, no Molly for Zinba either. So missing a little bit of utility from that full buy. Paint shells for paint shells. Just gonna go ahead and force Nakji out. He's got that. Looks for the aggro swing. And ooh, oh. nice reaction. We'll catch Nakji coming out of the smoke. It's pretty big. Still two members here at the site for the rotation coming through from Chibop at the moment. Taps into the smoke. And TS will actually just go ahead and fish out Wix. Gets him in the head. They see Chibop there for just a moment. He drifts over into the smoke. TS now going to fall. The flash climbing. Huge flash. It's huge. And Jumai picks up two eliminations. It's going to be the orbital strike now. Oh, in wow. And moves will just be able to clean up the rest. And that is a major swing here as Maru. Heck, they pick up the bonus round. Yeah, they pick it up. And again, no plant. Uh, economy is absolutely destroyed here for On Slayer. I mean, even this round, they couldn't fully invest everything. And still, and it started off okay. I mean, they really utilized the fact that they're used to playing with multiple smokes. They set up uh, their own smokes and then they use the opponents against them as well to slowly creep into sight. But I mean, this was just such a fast flank. And then uh, of course we saw the good flash coming in from moves as well. The instant orbital command just to clear out space. Early orbital command from Jumai. Yeah, round three has that available. See how quickly he can build up for the second one as Wix just holding over here. Bazzi wins that with the Marshall. So Wix was waiting for the wide peak, and Bazzi actually used that against him. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. I mean, you, you kind of take your pick and you try to go for the flick one way or the other, but this time it's Bazzi. I, listen, Bazzi's just so good at long range, right, when it comes to the Marshall Operator Headhunter. Yep, you name it. He's got a scope. He's usually pretty good. Now he's got an operator into his hands. Let's see if he can keep that, though. This Prowler just going out to try to check on sight. Nakji. Not sure if the Prowler actually identified that he's there. It looks like given that the pipe is flying his way, it has Bazzi lurking. Staring into Link, finds the rotate around there from Chibop. Jonghai going to be good for one. Moves good for another. Now they... I mean, I think right, right now, the bigger question is, is can they take the off back? And they can't. They cannot. King somehow managing to come out on top there. Yeah, well, Taking no. low, and they finally got a plant, Chobra. They, they got a plant. I mean, they, they have the snake bite that's already out there. The molly just goes up in the sky just now. Should be landing any time. Uh, uh, OK. You actually could have diffused that, I think, right in the corner there. But he's not going to. Yeah. Uh, but you know, plan is good. A little bit of a miss on the lineup. At the end of the day, uh, do they keep this up? Probably it's Bazzi. He might be looking for the swap to the Phantom here. We'll see right at the end. I, I think Bazzi was just like, I'm going to run away unless you die and there's enough time for him to get the defuse off. I'm not going back near the <laughs> <No>. spike site. <laughs> we'll be able to hold on to the Operator, and it's a much needed uh, side relief for the side of Onslayers as they do put a round win on the board. Oh, man, that 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 really hurts. And listen, this is huge props from Bazzi to not only get this first kill, which I mean, he just he just knew the angle. He was holding a little better than Wings. But for him to walk up, risk getting the operator, successfully get it and rotate through the teleporter was huge. Because oftentimes when you drop a weapon, you're going to do everything you can to try to defend it. But Bozzy just sprints in and gets out with a free upgrade. And throw the harm. Showers, just trying to check to see if anyone is playing forward. You know, the cheap op right here on the outskirts. Oh, and, three oh tag. my god, they managed to find so much, but he's got to jump back away. Just trying to stay alive. Half duration now there on the showstopper. Actually, just lets loose right at the entrance, trying to see if he can find anybody. Cheap up in the meantime has the overdrive out, but he cannot get a kill. He gets a couple people taken down low, but no eliminations to be found for himself. Bazzi ends up getting dropped. Wicks. Picking up another kill here. TS Huge. will die. The Molly on the Zimbo. Wix gets king. Suddenly it's just got dead. He's here. Double. The swing comes out. Can't get jumped by. Maru. And Maru will turn it right back around. Operator recovered. Listen, I mean, that overdrive, it looks so unfortunate, but quite frankly, he did. He sprinkled just enough damage that it was a very easy retake right off the plant. I mean, the Rolling Thunder was very good right from Lamps. You already had the position for moves. Pushes him, I, I believe, into the Molly, actually, of his own team. 
getting taken out there. Or maybe it's Junghai setting it up right behind, but either way. Uh, but then after that, you just yeah, you just have to get a couple tabs. Of course, Wix gets the headshot as well just to secure that kill, but... Oh, it's Junghai. Yeah, Junghai getting his own uh, Molly set up there to try to deny the plant, but the Rolling Thunder keeps him in it, which was crucial. So, okay, they recover, right? Yeah. Uh, they were back to another eco round from On Slayers. It, it looked like it was going to be risky, but Wix has his operator back in his hands, this yep. time not taking any uh, aggressive positions. You can thank Bazzi for keeping the op warm. Reclaims it for himself. For now, it's just going to be slow poking and prodding from On Slayers, seeking whatever information they can potentially garner here. So Mars positioning on A, while normally they'd like to push out, they know they're ahead in weapons. They don't want to risk it. But if they have to give up a side, they're going to just deny the timing on short with moves. And eventually, Shiba will probably help fill up showers just to... Oh, well, okay, they don't need any of that. Nope. <laughs> I was thinking way too far. They're just going to get kills. Pick up two, do lose moves at the same time. Being able to answer back one. Zimba now oh, trying oh. to win out. He'll get Nakji. And that's a weapon that he can absolutely recover. Oh, he's getting that for sure. Chibop's trying to deny it, but he's already picked it up. He has. He pushes the smoke and Zimba oh. catches Chibop in the head. And just like that, the rope may have been pulled down from underneath tomorrow. So on Slayers look to go ahead. Second round in. See the operator up in heaven, but they just commit the pit to this. I uh, you save the operator here off of the pit. I think uh, you know, sure, Jung Hai. He has a judge. I, Jung Hai could try to go in. I mean, if he gets the Viper, maybe you go for something. Uh, now Wix doesn't need the operator. He has a turret of force, but you don't want to give it over again because Bazi will gladly take it, even on attack here as a sky. Oh. Oh. There's Jung Hai. The judge not going to be able to find too much. And yeah, Wix is. That's my time to make. My yep. escape. Yep, it's back alone. around over towards defenders, and he will just creep away. So as he goes out, uh, you know, some people might wonder why did Shibab try to peek that, you know, through the screen? I, you know, he was feeling the break because that was the only way they really secure the round. Otherwise, he's trapped in sight. You know, you gave up the weapon for free. His best chance was denying that one extra phantom. Unfortunately, Zimba was one step ahead of him. He already has the weapon in hand. Shibab has to go through with the decay. He loses that duel, and then you've given up two phantoms. So it's snowballed out of control, but given his positioning, that was the best chance he had to try to hold on to that site. Yeah, I think it's just a slight misread on the timing of it all. Yeah. Zimba's already well into the site with the Phantom in hand a, a bit sooner than he anticipates. Probably thought that Zimba was going to slow creep because he doesn't necessarily know what's waiting for him on the opposite side of that shower door. But Zimba knew. <laughs> <laughs> he was very well prepared. He got the shot across, and now Maru is going to go ahead and use a, a fairly proactive timeout given that you know the losses that they've suffered have been in Ecos. Yes. So they want to shore up some weaknesses and make sure that that does not happen anymore. Yeah, and, and probably the talk happening now is you got the early kills in short, and Chibob actually leaned back towards short. At that point, you're kind of giving up showers. You don't really have, Nakji doesn't have backup anymore. You took control of short instead of showers. That was a choice you made. I, I got to believe that that's something that Anox, Coach Anox mentions. But at the end of the day, more than anything, he's probably just telling them, get back and focus. You're winning the rounds you're supposed, or, you know, you're winning kind of the full buy rounds from both sides, and then you're giving up so much free space. Don't take these unnecessary risks when we're ahead. Yeah. Uh, these are fans for moves. Oh, there we go. Oh, they oh they did not eat because they wanted to get here on time to watch Mario Gaming start. I don't oh. know where they came from because that's a long way to come if you didn't eat lunch. But it's across the street. Uh, don't worry, you'll be able to eat dinner after the match is over. I live right here in DMC. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like a five minute walk. Down. Well, I just woke up and I need breakfast. Yeah, I rolled out of bed. <laughs> I just came straight to the studio. I didn't want to miss it. Oh, that's okay. They, they, you know, they can always go grab a little snack oh. at the uh, oh. convenience store downstairs. This the break. was th this was the call from Anox. Double up, take things back in control. Two to force, and then one. Oh, you're right. Anoxy. Yeah, they have handed it over to him. God dead. Oh, and three, so. go. oh Jung Hai jumps. Somebody gets caught right in the midsection there. Uh, I mean, sliced in half by the judge, and that is going to make any attempt at a retake on this side very unlikely. Yeah. Unless Wix can catch some more on the push but he's too worried about somebody still wrapping through showers. Still hasn't been planted yet, but tons of time. Wix can't peek back out off of this. Shibab not able to find value yet either. Oh, locks him in there. Yeah, he locks him in there yeah. with the relay bolt. <laughs> okay, I mean, a nice little set play. Gets the stun out. Knew that he had no blast packs to make a quick exit. Probably now going to be cleaned up. Bazzy, though, finding an elimination. Rocket over the top. Does manage to take down the enemy sky. Now the utility has already been fired, right? The post plant utility. Yeah. 
We just landed, we heard it. One fight left. Wix finds King. It's gonna be taken oh! down, but TX gets knocked. She gets moves. Wix is so He's low. sticking to it though. The, uh, Wix just <laughs> holds for it. He'll even get the kill on TS to clean them all up. So I don't think TS realized that the half was already done. And by the time he stuck it again, even if TS had heard it clearly, he had he was already in motion of throwing the haunt. And he's expecting he can win the easy duel on the peak. He's expecting Wix to give up. And Wix just says, oh, you don't realize. I'm, I'm already done. Yeah. What, oh, man. But here's the thing. The biggest kill was Lamps, right? The setup with the relay boat and the aftershock. And then there are the push in. Gives a window for Nakji to jump over the truck with the showstopper. And Wix can clean things up. Yeah, I mean, that's just an extra bit of hurt there at the end that he actually does get the yes. elimination on TS, making sure the TS does not have the nightfall uh, going into yes. this. Or helping to make, well, I guess it's about the same. But they, they have to rebuy, right? And then yes. now, now you're kind of working again with your backs up against the wall, where if you lose again, not everyone can full buy again. Sure, you have some ults, but then you don't want to use it. Onslayers just cannot find footing on any of these rounds. They can't ever string two together. This is probably their last shot of the first half, quite frankly. Yeah, time is definitely dwindling away from them. Really aggressive hold here at Hookah. A judge up front, operator on top of tube, sees the dog coming. Made into the back, Jung Hai just holding firm. He's fine. The uh, jump in, uh, got dead, eliminated. Tucks away, doesn't get hit by the relay bolt. Chibop having teleported across, does end up getting taken down by TS. Now the TP's gonna be used, and it looks like they will turn their sights over towards A, but there's still two people here already, and Nakji is gonna the jump them in the showers. If he, oh, came with the fast swing. Okay, so the spike will probably get planted here. Uh, Oops, oh, it's gonna aggro. He's ready. Okay, they know, they haven't heard it yet. The, the flash, he tries to push out, but Zimba just turns, gets that elimination all the same. 62 HP, managing to survive 2v4, and now the healing coming to Bazzi. We'll just go ahead and top them back up, and King <laughs> just sprays the other two down. Three kills for him, starting to look a bit more alive. Yeah, this round was was a lot better done, right, from on Slayers. Now, Chibob, he teleported in because Junghai makes the call that he's heard people pushing in, but also he was seized. So even though he gets the first kill, even though he has a judge, calls for backup, unfortunately he can't help provide backup for Chibob, and TS was already way out of window, ready for the kill. Uh, but this, it all came down to Shower's control, right? What not, once Nachi loses, I get the idea from moves, right? You have the flashpoint, you're relying on it to get a quick peek uh, and deny the plan once more. But at that point, they're already so far behind. Oh! oh! Chibop, I mean, he pushes straight in behind the pink shells, which somehow killed Nachi. Not exactly certain what happened there and why he couldn't get away from it, but it's a nice little pickup for Chibop. Aren't gonna be thrown in, so they just sit inside of the smoke. They, they want, want that weapon, weapon but, no! but they're not gonna be able to get it. I mean, Zhong Hai, he lays his hands on it for just a brief moment, but TS comes up with the eliminations. Wix on the wraparound through Link, does get a nice little headshot kill, but is quickly suffered a, uh, suffering the same fate. Zimba cleans him up, King gets the finisher on the round, and Onslayers, all of a sudden, are just one round away from tying this up. Yeah, stability here. Uh, for Onslayers finally, and, and just in time as well to try to catch up here in the first half. Uh, of course, now that was uh, you know the save round, the Iku round coming in from Maru Gaming. Good idea, right? Just push out of showers, use the timing of the utility to actually get into the smoke first. Uh, it was it was a good kill, but I mean TS just knows exactly what's happening here, right? You know they're coming for the weapon. If you pe uh, peek out of right side first, you know it's going to be a double. Just that's good self awareness. It's just one of those painful things to think about because if Nocturne doesn't die to the pain shells, do we see a very different round? I, you know, I didn't quite get to see the setup on that. As here's the jump in, it's looking for Chief up. God damn, once more, does get a solid entry over towards Showers, gets a kill, but then gets traded out. Nocturne, thinking up for the last round, does find King. On Slayers, yeah, they have to find the Lurk. They know it's coming, knowing how Maru plays. Oh, but Wix, rotation through caves. Oh, the, oh, the position There's so one. Good. Knows that he's getting pinched on. Zimba around oh! the bike, and he gets two of them. I mean, that's huge. And look at that. Again, just good awareness. Knows that it's going to be a pinch, so he swings back first to try to get the timing. When he doesn't see it, he goes back. He knows there's more footsteps. Uh, he gets two. He just need to get two. It didn't matter which. He just need to get two, and he gets the job done. And now Bazzi has to 1v3. 4K clutch to try to win out this round and tie it at 5 to 5. Uh, Jonghai's like, I've seen enough. Yep. I will run away because you're bad. Yeah, 
I don't want to take that risk. They're just going to wait for the plant sound. But there's no ambiguity about where Jonghai is at. Oh! Puts around the back. Bazzi gets that kill. This plant going to be planted just by the box. No, fakes it for a moment, trying to see if there's any forward aggression off the back of that sound cue. Moves' his goal here is to just wait until Nakshi gets here. He's planting right outside oh, he, he of Lamps. Oh, he heard it close. He knows. He's so curious. His back is turned. He's starting to creep up. And moves. It just never gets checked. I mean, too many angles to check, right? You're all alone on A-site, but honestly, props to Moves for being patient, because he now moves, and, and other members of Mar Gaming as well, a couple of those rounds they lost, it was due to just a little bit of impatience, right? Trusting in your own skills too much to try to deny the plant. You know it's a 2v1, Nakji's so far away, probably a lot of comms going back and forth, but Moves says, okay, you know what? Unless he really plants, I'm just gonna wait. Just gonna wait, and he gets the job done. Finally, I think this is a very necessary timeout here for Onslayers, because again, they, they barely string two rounds together, and then they get stopped once more here in the first half. Is our timeout tracker new? I didn't notice that yesterday. So, it, yeah, it's been here since playoffs, but I only noticed it yesterday as well. Okay. Uh, but it is neat. It is neat. I like it. Yeah. And we get to keep track of exactly when these teams are using it and what they have left. Anox, of course, not one to waste the free opportunity here. I mean, you only have two more rounds. If you can get an 8-4 scoreline here for Maru, they chose defense specifically because they know on attack they're just going to strike. Yeah. No matter how many smokes you have, you're going to go in with the relay bolt and the fault line, get a bunch of stuns in, and then you're going to strike and get kills and break open. So if you can get a lead on defense, a healthy lead on defense against this composition of Onslayers by pushing out, taking control of showers, you feel pretty good about the second half. And so far, it's working out exactly the way Maru wanted. Can they stretch this a little bit more these last two rounds? The Nox, after the last time he walked out on stage... Things look good. I mean, does he just come out here again and say, buy two ops? <laughs> you know, do, just do that <laughs> Do that one more time? Uh, not quite sure. Let me be your firefighter. Uh, this fan was one of the biggest fans of Dejanana CNJ. I recognize I recognize her because she was here so many I times. Shifted allegiance, huh? Well, Dejanana's not here anymore, but you still got tickets here for playoffs. You might as well yeah. cheer for another team. <laughs> Oh, that's fine. I mean, I, I like it because it's not one of the, the obvious bandwagon choices oh, that no, most people no. would go for. No, it's not like the, it. the DRX Onslayers or Dom One, you know, the bigger names in the region. Uh, go for Maru. Oh, like Chiba. That. Okay. Okay. Well, well, Overdrive once more, not finding too much uh, value, but Chiba, this is what I'm talking about. He's a distraction. And this is a page out of Paper Rex's book in Southeast Asia. Send in the Neon Teleport in to clean up the kills. Well, huge. And God dead picked off as he tries to jump out of Hookah. A great shot from Wix. Probably sent his way to try to scout him out. The spike will get planted, but it's Bazzi and TS. An op and a Vandal to try to hold off four members on the side of Maru. Granted, Nakji, not much HP, but he does have a showstopper. Yeah. Oh, uh, so one. that's a very crucial kill because otherwise they get trapped. Now Bazzi can watch. Bazzi's got to be killed. And Nakji taken down. So he tried to jump. Jonghai needs to get in sight. Huge yes. kill for moves. Bazzi, ready to throw the flash. Tosses it, tries oh. to push out, but moves <laughs> is there for the covering fire. And I love the position for Maru. They know there's there's two things that can happen. Either it's a flash that doesn't smoke, or it's a slow creep around uh, to defender spawn. So Moves is just watching Defender spawn in a position where he cannot get flashed right by the tube, and then he swings out as soon as you hear the guiding light. Great, great retake. But this, I just straight up ripping it out of Paper X's textbook, and why not? It's a good play. You know, you, you kind of commit the overdrive of free weapon, so to speak. Of course, you need to get the ult points, and then you just draw attention, get a little bit of damage in, and then it's an instant teleport to get the crossfire. Works out perfectly for Mario Gaming. 7-4, they're, they're one step away from that 8-4 scoreline, which is, I think, the most ideal scoreline they wanted here in the first half. Oh, absolutely. All right. Strong defender side, going to be good for them, and then with the double duelist entry like you were talking about, they should be very well set up to just run away with it on the attack. Oh, so... Th Spot the trademark. Oh, and this timing, he hears the footsteps, so he puts up the smoke. Now, the trademark's gone. But this was simply a play for the orb. TS wants this nightfall, so they have something to work in, work with to break into sight. Okay, now that they've forced the TP, they can feel comfortable enough to at least move up to it, but 
<laughs> yes, is still set back by Fountain. God, that's like, you, you taking this? You taking this? Are we not doing this? I thought we were doing this. I thought this was the whole <laughs> reason that I, I pushed up here. Right. <laughs> just guarding it with his life there for TS. Not your solo queue game where the rage is fine. I'll take it. I'm only five points away in the last round of the half. TS now Nightfall ready. It's going to be a strike on to B. At this angle, though, he's only maybe going to catch two. Wix is going to be on the cusp of it. I think oh. he managed to back up just enough to not be clipped. The dive in, God dead, hitting. It's his feet on solid ground, managed to find one, gets a second, his moves will fall. It just goes out to try to zone back oh. Wix, and actually, it's just going to get the elimination. God dead finally finding a massive opening here on the site. Kills three, Noxie now going to be spotted. Struggling the corner, seeing if he can get any kills, and... Well, you know, if you got it, you might as well send it so the pit comes down. <laughs> I mean, you want Or goes up. <laughs> Make sure you secure this round for sure. Even in a 5v1, you never know. Obviously, Noxie, I mean, what can you do? He knows. I mean, he's going to try for kills at the very least. Get a little moral victory here uh, right at the end. But a, a good entry. Uh, and Maru, I think their positioning was that they were aware oh, there, well, there it is. They were aware of the potential nightfall. They just weren't spread out enough. Quite a reputation here, especially as an IGL in VCT Korea. All right. Oh, right onto the box. And then it, I mean, it was wonky at first for God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was the crucial kill on moves. Yeah, getting him right as he tries to swing out of the orbital strike. It's nicely done. And then nice. the, just the nade. You know, just kind of threw it willy-nilly, <laughs> and then just happens to get Wicks. But now we go into the second half. 7-5, the lead here for Maru. Let's see what they can get done. As Zimba is quite uh, far forward. He's already got one. Can he get more? No. Shanghai will shut him down. Bazzi waiting back around the corner. Now needs to retreat, and reinforcements need to be called. Yeah, a little, a little unfortunate for Chi Bob. He, I mean, it was never an intention for Chi Bob to try to avoid the flash entirely. The plan was, of course, he had backup. Oh, huge kill from Wix to shake things up on showers. Hold that thought for B Long. And that's going to split their attention a bit. It's a king kind of peeking back over towards A. He's like, do I, do I go, you know, help God dead or do I stay here with Bazzi? What is the right call? Well, the right call would have been to go to A. That's where the spike is being moved over to right now. Yeah, and Maru Gaming, not only do they secure the orbs from both sides, but what they're also doing here is they waited to listen to see if they did hear Rush Footsteps on B. They did not, and they decide, okay, I don't think they rotated. Let's go to where we know it's weaker over on A site. It's going to be an easy entry here into Short and Lambs. God dead. I mean, if he can't even stay alive, there's a chance. Plant's coming down, so even just with a little injection of cash, Still going to be feeling pretty decent here. Okay, they know the trademark just got destroyed. They know there's a lurk. The moves is ready for it. Takes out Bazzi. God, they're trying to jiggle the corner with the French King? range. King. King? Managing to get one, and now it's all on Wix. He's got so many headhunter bullets left, though. I love and this everybody reposition. Everybody is so low. I love this reposition, because you, you know they expect you to be in challenge. They're checking the smoke first. Swing around the back. Wix. Runs out of bullets. Woo! He's got the ghost as a backup. Actually, he didn't run out of bullets. He just, he just, just chose swapped. to swap his yeah. gun. He just wanted to spam because he get. I think he got the call that they were low, right? So he says, okay, the first one, I'll go for the headhunter. But, oh, I actually just need to spam and buy time. So a good decision from Wix secures what suddenly looked way dicier than it ever should have for Maru Gaming. I, I mean, here King answers back with two, just two, 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 two frenzy. And I mean, it with the frenzy. Yeah, I mean, credit where it's due. It's good control there on the frenzy to you know, make that as close as it was at the end, but Wix just had it all nicely set up for him. One tap with either pistol. Chibop just sliding forward. Again, Chibop's goal, just scout out, draw some attention by space, and then... <laughs> or just he have knows. Simba walk in. <laughs> I mean, listen, more and more players in Korea, when you, when you play against Simba, you expect him to someday be in, his, you know, be in his own smoke. I mean, that's what Simba does. Now, Simba's very good at holding these weird positions within his smoke, but Chibop just keeps fishing for it, and he gets it. Archie, watching for TS. Oh, they're so aware. He it's doesn't know, but he's aware. Fantastic read. Okay. Peeks over towards Cave. Takes a little bit of damage, but... But information gain. They already pushed out of A. Wix saying, maybe I'll take the duel. Oh. Swings out. Oh. Shots whipped. Yes. Gets his to connect. Chi Bop in the meantime. Times a second kill with that Bulldog. Bazzi now gone. The beat site broken open. As they look for the pinch. Two members now arriving from the defender's side. Nakji has no idea that TS has already gotten to be long, by the way. 
He thinks they were gonna push up to window. They don't have they don't have entire information on TS. Is he in line of sight right now? Yes, he does. Manages to get moves. They get him oh. though, and just like that, blinking you miss it. King and God dead both go down. A little bit of damage dealt. It would have liked to have had more, but at least to pick up two kills there. Yeah, and most importantly, of course, the big investment on the Bulldog gets continued over. Yes. Well, as something that's become a very common investment here in Stage 2 across the world uh, to try to even okay. out on the bonus round. <laughs> They're all like, oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, that's what we wanted. Exactly. Uh, fast call on to TS denies any more damage done on that flank. Well, we're gaming. Just yelling, behind, behind, behind. Yeah, just, just screaming that out. Now on the bonus, they switch things up. They're striking A. Cheap off. Well, three lane bolts. There's the fast lane. Seeing what util he can get out of them. It's a boom bot and a prowler. I think the second oh! one actually even used. And Nakji in the meantime, he's over at Lamps. Will get cut down. God dead finding two. King getting another. That's just Wix and Cheap Up left standing. And I'm not sure if they're going to be able to find too much. Bazzi, the last one left over at B. We'll clean up the enemy chamber, and now the spike is stranded on the site. Well, here, one thing we know for sure from that round is Nakji definitely practiced his blast packs. Yes. Yeah, that was very good flight into lamps. Now, the whole idea there was you're on your bonus. Obviously, you're trying to just rush in and get the plant. Chibop actually got so much information, right? You see the Boombot and the Prowler coming into showers. Right? Okay, well, fade and raise over here near showers on A. So you put up the fast lane, you put up the smokes, and then you just have to clear lamp from behind. But they get spammed through. And also, I mean, with the Spectre, Noxie not able to answer back across back site. Uh, and they actually don't get any damage done on Don Slayer's by. Oh, he saw the Bulldog. He could have scoped it, but I think he was just caught off guard. Yeah. Either way, this time the bonus will be picked up uh, by On Slayer's. Not going to drop it and then have to win it. Eco. Tomorrow, still ahead, though. We don't need to start panicking quite yet. Uh no, not yet. I mean, again, in the grand scheme of things, okay, uh, score-wise, you lost the bonus, not a big deal. You still get your buy. It's simply, you have to kind of win this round, otherwise Onslaught sort of starts to run away with it in terms of creds. Yeah. Keep up once more, looking for the aggressive push here in the shower. Will get clipped by the Prowler, though, so it loses his sight. So Maru Gaming, now they're they're kind of identifying how Onslaught likes to play. So you're continuing to just pressure showers uh, and say, we could come here. Listen, your screen is set up. We're already in shower, so now you have to hold these angles. They've gained that information on their own, but they have no other way to really secure their entry. So it eventually has to be a pinch. This time it's going to be after drawing out some time, playing the mind games, and trusting that they can strike with the number advantage here on a side. Touch over the lamps. So strike going to be used as well. Just trying to flush anybody out, not find an elimination. Does not push into the back site. TS huge shutting down the push there from Nakji. It's the opening kill gets a follow up and King just tucked next to the boxes. Takes down moves. Jong Hai fighting back. Managed to find two wings. Gets two of his own. Bazzi's the last one left standing. And suddenly this is spiraled out of control. They're gonna go all the way to CT. They're gonna rush this over B. Excellent call. Because by that time, if there's no more backup coming out of Link, you know that that's your answer. You don't want to get stuck trying to plant. Uh, what a recovery from Jungai and Wix. We talked about how eventually Maru Gaming, they are now this team where the second line of attack, second line of defense has to actually get the kills. Nakji and Chibop are simply the distraction, buying space, creating space. Can they secure the round? There's a flash, doesn't have another one for 22 seconds. Jungai, low HP, Wix tanked up just a little bit. So there's definitely an opportunity here for Bazzi to clutch this out. He's going to be running out of time. There's the first step. Gets one. Wick starting to shift back around Bazzi, looking to try to hold this to half. He does, what? but he looks the wrong way. He's expecting Wicks to come out defender's side. Also, usually you'll see players peek out right before the half finishes. Wicks purposely waits until half a second after the half is finished to make him try to go for a peek first and have to check so many angles because he was never spotted. So he actually uses the mind games against him, but uh, it looked like it was going to be an incredible hold to kill you. A good haunt as well, using the fast lane against his opponents. But Jung Hai do just doesn't take no for an answer, and Wicks as well. So clean. These two, I mean, they're really bringing it home here for Maru Gaming. Pressure certainly mounting. This King 
Just gonna try to slow things up over here. And short cheap up, up over the top, has the overdrive. They bolt into Lamps, checking, sees that it's clear. Nakji is just jumping up, getting past the Operator. Or the Marshal, rather. Yeah, just making sure they keep the Marshal at bay. King. End up getting melted down. One shot connects to but wrap oh, around oh, the flank. Oh. Does he just storm in? Oh. Nakji having a bit of a stalemate Jeez. here. Yeah, Nakji mm. barely gets his judge out of time. Goes to, they will go their separate ways. Feeling contented for now. They, uh oh. Seems like they think that the spike <laughs> might get rotated <laughs> over. TS, a great push into showers. Okay, and shot gets strong high. That's a weapon recovered. But Maru's not in a good spot right They're trapped in lamps because he never planned anything. He lost control of showers. And they can't rotate because they don't have information. Showstopper. Doesn't get anything. Onsters <laughs> is so confused right now, but they have the confidence that, okay, wh oh, what? Okay. Oh, God, dead. Flipping him through the box there, it would seem. It's not going to continue to try to hold the Seekers on their way all the way over from B. They shouldn't last too, too much longer, but they will at least get close enough to reveal the enemy locations. Oh, now the yeah. spike is going to be stranded just next to Truck, and the cleanup is going to be there, and that feels horrible oh, for Maru. No. Oh no. Yet another eco. <laughs> yeah. I, just having a bit too much confidence that they'll get the initial kills. And to be quite frank, I believe the first kill of the round did go to Chiba on that overdrive. Uh, but yeah, this, yeah, but this one, where where you take over control of showers, that opens up so much information and comfort for onslaughters because you're like, oh, well, they, they didn't take the teleporter. They're either walking to B or they're trapped in lamps. It's one or the other. And then they can't plant. You know it. They don't have smokes. Oh, and now an eco for Maru. I mean, you have two stingers, but. Which never feels great. No. A little bit, you know, slightly better when Listen, you are on the attack, but. If it's a gun that even I don't like using, then you know it, it, just, it never feels good, okay? That's true. <laughs> you are King Rat. Yes. The stinger's not one of them. She bobs sliding across. Is yeah, land clear for now. All right, you hear the stinger. Should have heard that frenzy as well. Yeah. Chibop did fire at the Prowler, so should have information that there's at least two poised in that position. Spike now being brought forward, trying to bait out U-Tilt. That's going to force yes. the paint shells. And and they already pushed and up to window, so this is a it's a reliable rotation. Oh, Zimba. It's, oh, no. They got to expect this, right? This is, this is Zimba through and through. Yep, there's... Oh, he doesn't shoot it. He plants trying to try to bait out a shot, thinking it's a trademark, but he doesn't get baited. Yep. Wow. The mind game is back and forth, but now it's just rotate back. I mean, this is what Jump High does this quite well. Oh, what a nightfall! Nightfall from TS catching so very many of them. The swing coming through. Decay's out on a couple. King only able to pick up one. Oh, oh, oh. swing there from God Dead. Turns to the moves, gets that elimination. Jump High now going to be dropped. It all comes down to Wix in a one v three. Spike. Sat out in the middle of nowhere. The Molotov burning as well. There's just no time realistically yeah. to do anything here. But have to rush it. Get back away. Yeah, Spike okay. is not recovered though. He's just looking for any kind of kills that he can possibly get. Looks like TS will spare him. We'll go ahead, put him out of his misery a little bit sooner. But Onslayers continue to claw this back. Wow. And, and I mean, also right at the end, the other members just shying away. TS was the only one really rolling in creds there. Uh, at the end of that round, so he still waits for the duel to make sure that you know no weapons are recovered or anything like that. Other members save up on Slayers are hanging on for dear life and oh man, I, honestly, this kill right here. <laughs> it's a nasty reaction from Jonghai. Yeah. Also, just really incredible control of the stinger, which is not something you see very often these days. <laughs> yeah. Well, there it is. Well, there it is. Oh, the stinger. No, not worth Abandoned keeping. on the streets. <laughs> <laughs> Even the shorty finds a lot of use, but the stinger gets put on the ground. Okay, one will strike. Called it. God, that gets a collateral oh. screen. Moves the chief oh up. Dead. God, that follows up for a third. Simba gets knocked G at the same time, and God, dead is looking to just out duel. Can't quite get the flick. Tucks back into the corner. It's Wicks. Once more in an impossible scenario. This time versus five says, well, I guess I'll just get two extra alt charge from, you know, from this orb when I die. Actually doesn't even finish the orb. Just trying to bait somebody from swinging around the corner. They're into swinging around the corner. Runs away as far as possible. He, he knows where, he, he has a good feeling of where they're coming from, but. 
Okay, now he knows there's one right there. Zumba's just Zumba. playing with him. Zumba, you and sees his shoulder <laughs> just through the smoke. The headshot connects. It's a flawless round as Onslayers bring it within one. And don't panic, guys. I'm sure our observers are going to have that oh, god yes. POV oh, in yes. the replay, so don't worry. Yeah, I, I mean, surely. Surely, because uh, that was disaster. Especially since we have a timeout. Oh, yeah. They've got even more time to scramble the, oh, yeah. the replays together. Yeah, we got to see it. We could we could watch it three times in this timeout. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I, I mean, what an incredible kill, because that alone just ruins any plan, any hope Morrow had in that round. And now they're back to another save. No wonder Anox uses his second timeout here, because... They've lost all control three rounds in a row for On Slayers. Operator continuing to uh, stay in the hands of one of these members, and it could be Bazi, it could be Gada. They're both great at long range, uh, with whether it's the Marshal or the Operator. Uh, could go to any site. Doesn't matter which agents they're using. Uh, you got to figure out a way to break through this. But this is why it gets hard once you have the Operator, because the other side, you got the Viper, right? And then you're fish they're fishing for information. Bazi's fishing for information on B-Long with the Guiding Light. And then if God Dead's there with the Operator, he has even better focus if you get a tag off of the Flash. Uh, it just gets really hard. Spear watching in the audience. Our proxy doesn't look too amused. Wants to play his own game. Uh, they, they are here quite early. Here we, we had a bit of a pause. Bless off uh, the Korean and, observers. And then, Thank and you. And then the second peak. Uh, I mean, nice, nice, what nice, a ballsy nice. second peak, though. Yeah. <laughs> God Dead delivering. I mean, I, if I'm correct, I think God Dead is only one... MVP once. Yes, once. So he is definitely on pace to pick up his second ever MVP of the stage. All right. Also, Bozzy gets the information. And again, watch what Bozzy does. This is textbook sky, right? You use the initial guiding light, and then you jump peak. You spread out your cooldown, so you can always check down to 40, 30 seconds of the round if you need to. The trail are used a little early because he knows they pushed up. Now, with Shower's Control gone, Maru doesn't have a choice, and Onslaught is well aware of this. Yep. Oh, she pops slow walks in. <laughs> he does, but Simba is looking just below the window. Gets to catch God dead once more with this horrific looking operator in his hands. Sending a message, you know? Doesn't need a good skin. Yeah. <laughs> I won't even. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste my good skins on you yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah, not at this. I'm gonna kill you with the minima. <laughs> That's what I think about you as competition. Oh, Wix gets trapped there. And he does. King's getting the tap, getting the chest shot to finish off Jong Hai, that strands the spike. There was two left sheriffs in hand. Can they find any value whatsoever, or will it be a flawless from Onslayers oh. to tie this up? Oh my god, King! So he had the one play on Showers, and then he sends TS into Showers, picks it back up, and now sets it up on Short. You are, as a Viper player, you are disgusting, King. Oh. Okay, well that was pretty nasty too, yeah. Pretty good. Fortunately can't do it twice in a row. <laughs> no. At a greater distance at least. Tries to jump and peek out. The blast pack just gets a shoulder shot there on the TS. So not a flawless, but it is tied up 10 to 10. Uh, I mean, this is your dying time. Maru loses here. For one, obviously your morale, you've lost some momentum. But two, you have to give up the next round. And then Onsers is going to be a match point just because of economy. I mean, they can't buy two rounds here in a row. Oh. Wix got done dirty. Yeah. And the bite is, is revealed. Oh, <laughs> King, you are so disgusting. Now, uh, one thing I, I will say, I guess they could actually buy rifles on the next two rounds if they just don't buy skills, right? Because they're on a lost streak here, but no, they didn't save up for it. So this is it. Okay. They're all inning on this round. King just drops the pit, cuts off shower access. Showers is closed, short. They, they don't care if they go into lamps. And, and this is the classic story of bind. If we have control of showers, okay, you guys can go to lamps. What are you gonna do out of lamps? You can't get out of there, you're stuck. So they're shuffling them over to B. Now there's an operator here. That's why there's only two people. Oh. Well. <laughs> position confirmed. Oh, Bazzi. Now. Bazzi, just oh. wait. Oh. Sees the slide in. Oh. Tries to go for the little flick shot. Uh-oh. It does take Zhonghai down low. Zimba just lurking within the smokes. 
Shows top right at the ready. Noxie throws it. Doesn't find anything for his troubles. But Bazzi and Zumba have been displaced off the side. God dead. In the meantime, trying to do much the same. But shorts the rocket. Doesn't manage to find Cheap Up. Lurking just on the opposite side of the wall. Comes away now into the cubby. Oh, got and King on the opposite side as well. And King is so late because he was checking for any lurks in short or lamp, so he's not here just yet for the backup. Get some breakthrough. We'll see Nagi on the side. Team up swings out, finds God dead now. And TS, another work cut out for them. Now it's just TS swings in, finds one that moves gone. To, he to gets Jung high. Suddenly, Nakji. A bit of a 1v1. The haunt goes around the oh, back. He reveals no! them! And TS! He's got the triple! He's got the clutch! I think he got it. He's time, got right? it. Yeah, yeah. He's got the plenty circus. of time. Oh, my. And Odd Slayers have the lead. Such a good break into sight. And at the end, they know where TS is, but because Junghai's kind of stranded at low health, Junghai doesn't find find time or, yeah Jungai doesn't find time to reposition he doesn't want to get stuck he thinks he has the timing off of the kill on moves to trade but he instead gives up the 2v1 advantage uh, I mean obviously we saw everything and we we're seeing the mini map and this is all result based it feels bad but I, I get Jungai's thought right but oh leaving it down to the 1v1 against the fade who can get that haunt back up devastating yep Huge util from TS. And now he's got the Nightfall ready to go as well. Incredible Can clutch. Can just save that, not even for this round, you know. They yeah. win this out, manage to go up 12-10. Just hold it for what would end up being potentially the last Yo, round of the map. I do like the spam through the wall. Check everything, but... Yeah. It's an angle that not a lot of people think about. Yeah, no, uh, no, no, no. Ladder play, especially. God dead. Uh, well, I could... don't think God dead meant to do this, by the way. I agree. Yeah, because first of all, with the operator, def I don't know if you want to do this ever. Yeah. I think he was just backing off of the boom bot and didn't realize he was so close. Oh, man, he's doubled up on the minima. What is this, God Dead? <laughs> okay. Paint shells. It's the opposite side of the door. The aftershock oh, could be used. He's painting so a lot of utility. They're so desperate for this one. Because here's the thing. God did actually, if he stays alive, his job okay. somehow works out, right? Because they have to constantly <laughs> care about this operator that's going to creep oh. up behind them. He's taking blind shots through. Moves in the meantime. Oh! King TS goes down and knocks. He does get God dead at the end. Dead. That's the op just stranded in the teleporter. See if they want to recover it. They have to rotate to the opposite side of the map. Trying to pick it up. g up with a singer against Bazzi. And this is working out beautifully. No, Nakshi actually got himself in. He gets the operator. Yeah, the door opened and he got it. He didn't get it through the wall. Bank, so right. He picks it up on his way out. Oh, this is catastrophic. We'll talk about a series of unfortunate events two rounds in a row. I mean, Zimba, yeah, he's been so damn clutch, but not to be in this round. 11-11, I... to 11, a thrifty for Mara to tie it up. Finally, they get their own thrifty. They strike back after losing so many thrifties against Onslayers this entire, by the way, first map of yes. the best of three. Yes. I, oh, man. Here's the thing. Okay, Nakji getting God dead. I mean, that really came down to time because it was operator was going to be tough. But these kills right here. And, oh, killing off as the Nightfall comes out. That's the thing. A lot of utility burn. Like, the, so the Nightfall burnt. now gone. Yeah, so much burn. It, I mean, everything gone. They can still buy. But they have no ults. And, and the orbital command was used right on lambs. Yeah, they have no ults. Meanwhile, there's an overdrive. There's also a rolling thunder here from, from moves. So Baru Gaming, they wanted to push to see if they could get through. If they did, it would have been a fast strike. But now, I like the patience. You see the one way. That's not something you want to deal with. You know a king can be really nasty with this phantom. Just pushing them into short. They want someone to walk into that operator. Okay, King gonna take a bit of damage there on the jiggle. Rolling Thunder now coming out. Fast lane gonna be invested. Cheap up sliding forward. Overdrive in a hand. Paint shells will slow him up just a bit. Nakji. The wall comes down. Nakji in the back. Sight finds one. Look for Nakji. another to get King. Throws out the paint shells just to buy some more time in case anybody's rotating, but they're still a bit too far away. Bazzi and Zumba just now starting to arrive, but with a judge and an operator, the two completely just inverse weapons of each other. Yeah. What can they really get done? Oh, the jiggling at... rifles away. <laughs> Nakji doesn't want to give them a single shot at this free dig. Oh, <gasps> he swaps the classic. Don't count him out. He swaps the classic. Don't, don't now count. Wicks don't down to 38 HP. Zumba 
Continuing to try to poke and prod I mean, yeah. from this angle. Yeah, you just play for time here. Wix has to just hide. Do not give up this operator. Molly dropping in. Wix gets the kill. Bazzy finding one cheap up, oh. rotating around the side. And Bazzy is not prepared for it. Maru. And Bazzy has zero creds. Maru gets Makes finally reaches map point first. Bazzy, zero creds. Operator down. Oh dear. Oh my god. So, okay, they 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 can they can do something here with Zimba's creds, right? Because he's just been banking up on these judges, but um uh, you will see a buy over to Bazi. I think you do. I mean Zimba I, I think he can buy probably the judge and then a rifle. Maybe he can't buy all of his smokes then. I I'd have to do the math again. But what a oh my god, what a way to reach map point for Maru. And he, that strike was so good. Once they spotted that King wasn't in front of showers, they were much more comfortable pushing pushing out of that because you now locked him up into lamps. You send the rolling thunder to clear close, and Chibop doesn't overextend, right? So he draws out all this utility back sight, clears the close corners, and then he swing out with Noctu from both sides through the boxes. Just an incredible strike onto sight. And if Maru can do this, they will have been the first team to take down on Slayers on Bind. You're they're, right. They're right now 10 and 0 on they're this map. Undefeated. This is the 11th time that they're playing this. And if they can get this victory with Fracture coming up next, Onslayers has only played that map three times, and they've only won it once. Yes. So Fracture, while they have at times individually looked decent on that map, it does not reflect in the record. No. Not, oh my. I mean, again, you, like you said, I'm glad you pulled out the record because that's why Onslayers picks it again, undefeated. Yeah. Maru decided to leave this up, feeling confident that they've seen a lot of tape. Oh, he just runs through? And uh, g is just fearless right oh! now. And why wouldn't he be? Is this it, the beginning of the end? Twix finds one. The rocket from Nachi by TS. He takes down God Dead and once more lets the paint shells fly. Zumba with a judge again. That's all he could afford after buying for his teammate. The two members again who are stuck on B waiting for information. A 2v5 miracle retake is in need here for Onslayers. Smoke's called down. Zumba trying to lessen the gap between him and everybody else so he can make use of these weapons. Now he does have a Vandal in hand, mind you. But so the healing has to be used, and they are running out of time. Oh, Wix just blind spams the smoke, gets the hit. He spotted somebody. We'll put them both in the grave. Maru Gaming will kick things off with a victory on Bind. They roll the dice. They say, yep, you're undefeated on it, but we think that we can best you. And they do so. 13 to 11. They kick off this series, this best of three in the lower bracket with a map win. A massive, massive victory. And I think this is a huge, necessary confidence boost that Mara Gaming has been fishing for. This stage, they say, okay, you know what? Our color, our style, our players are aggressive. So then what can we do? Everyone's using all these extra initiators. They tried all sorts of things during the round robin. They don't find the success they want, and they say, all right, go back to Double Duelist. No one else is using it right now, but we will, because that's what we're good at. And then they take down WGS, who also looked very confident on Bind. They destroy them, and then they come back, face on Slayers, who's been undefeated. Double controller, double initiator, and Maru Gaming still breaks through. Beating 1-0 in this best of three, and the loser's Brett on Slayers. One map away from elimination. One map away from elimination. And ending their year uh, potentially a bit early. Obviously, there's you know maybe some circumstances for the, the LCQ, given that they you know, had a grand finals appearance in stage one. I don't have all of that mapped out in my head right now. All I can focus on is Maru kicking things off with this win. And now they have Fracture coming up next. Oh, man. I I don't know what to think, Achilles. I, I mean, here's the thing. Going over to Fracture now, that's where Maru Gaming, they used the double duelist comp again against WGS. It did not work out that time, but overall, they have many more iterations here on Fracture. Yeah. You mentioned Onslayers. They, they did have a good win when Bazi was playing that Neon, but... The comfort right now, the momentum is here for Maru. And here's the thing, so much more pressure for Onslayers to try to stay alive here in the loser's bracket. Oh, for sure. Uh, everyone expects them to claw back to the Grand Finals. Yeah, there's an, there's an immense amount of expectation. And then, you know, given the shortcomings from yesterday, yes. added pressure 
on this team. Also coming into this, as we've been saying, this is the veteran squad going up against the young guns, but Maru managed to draw first blood, and that is a terrifying prospect if you're on Slayers. You need to just walk away from this one, shake your heads, splash some cold water in your face perhaps, and then get just strapped in, because Fracture could be an absolutely wild ride. Oh, it's it, it has to be. I mean, Maru's feeling it on Slayers, is shaking. Shaking in their boots right now. You can just see what a bloodbath it was in terms of overall KDs. Yeah, I mean, Goddad coming up with, you know, highest kills, highest ACS in the game, but Jonghai, <laughs> the man was finding so much value. He'll probably be our MVP, but honestly, I'm assuming it comes down to a Nox uh, in the map draft. Yes. I would love to give it to him for <laughs> MVP of this first map because the man had the gall. He had the confidence to pick bind. I'm sure a lot of people were saying, why in the hell are they going why are, they, yeah. why are they allowing, uh, not pick bind, but allow bind to yes. go through? Why are they allowing that to happen? They had the counter strat. They played it beautifully. Close map, though. We'll see what happens on Fracture, but on Slayers have one foot out the door. They need to win on that next map. I think it's a game three. We'll see what happens after the break. Kill them go to A, but there is potential that they could try to rotate. Let's check with the boom bot. Go ahead and force Nock G out. Got that. Looks for the aggro swing. And Wix just holding over here. Bad Wix finds King. Zimba gonna be taken oh! down, but TX gets knocked. She gets moves. Wix is He's so low. sticking to it though. The, uh, Wix just holds <laughs> one. He'll even get. Well, gonna be thrown in. So they just sit inside of the smoke. They, they want, want that weapon, weapon no! but they're not quite get to see the setup on that. And here's the jump in. Look at Chima. Oh, the position. There's so one. Good. Knows that he's getting pitched on. Zimba around oh! the flank, and he gets out. Draw some attention by space, and then how's <laughs> it? Out for them now. It's just TS swings in, finds one. That moves gone. He gets Chibi. jung high. Suddenly Nakji. A bit of a one v one. The haunt goes around oh, the back. He reveals no! that. And TS will slow him up just a bit. Nakji. The wall comes down. Nakji in the back side finds one. Look for that and gets king. He only has to be using there, running out of time. Oh. Wait. Just blind spams the smoke. Gets the hit. He And we are back. What a turn of events just unfolded in front of our very eyes. Their undefeated map of Binds, no longer the case for On Slayers. They pick it. Maru says, sure, why not? We've studied this. They managed to come out on top. A close game, 13 to three. But On Slayers now start this lower bracket series off down a map. They need to win on Maru's map pick, a fracture, a map that they only have one victory under their belts. Yeah, I mean, it's just not much, you know, played here for On Slayers. And you talked about that record and we keep bringing it up, but this is how important it is. This was a map that both On Slayers and Damon Kia were very proud of coming in with their new coaches at the start of this year, right? Uh, both coming from Newton. Of course, Damon Kia has head coach Solo, Perry on the side of On Slayers. They were known, Newton was known for Bind. They brought what they knew to these two teams. And then even there, On Slayers continued to reign supreme, being undefeated. And Maru breaks that streak. I mean, yeah. they kind of just break through the wall of On Slayers' Bind. That was the one guarantee On Slayers always had, knowing that they could go to a third set. Now they don't. Uh, they're for the first time, other than you know, it, kind of in the finals, grand finals of stage one against DRX. On Slayers is literally at the brink of the cliff. Here, facing elimination, having to play for their lives in yeah. Korea. And you know, I was not a hundred percent certain about it, but confirmed with my good friend Chopra during the break. <laughs> yeah, locked in yes. for the LCQ if they should fall out of the tournament. Here is On Slayers, so they're okay. They have their opportunity. They have another chance, um, but. They don't want to go out here. They don't want to have that extra prep time no, in the LCQ. No. They want to make continue this run through the lower bracket. They want to be the representatives over at Copenhagen, get that international experience ahead of the LCQ. Yes. Um, this is not going to cut it for them, and I think that everybody's going to walk away very dissatisfied um, You know, with a loss in general, but especially this early on into the playoffs. Yeah, exactly. Dro dropping it's only something. day three. <laughs> yeah, out of the six days of playoffs we have. It's only day three. They're already in the losers bracket. They're starting off 0-1. And like you said, right now, especially on Sirs and Damon Kia, these are teams where all the players and the coaching staff, they've been saying, we heard it from head coach Solo yesterday uh, as we look at the MVP. Let's actually talk about that first. I'll get back to the storyline there. But yeah, Zhang Hai, no big surprise. So much utility, top of the leaderboard in terms of uh, scores and uh, in terms of kills and ACS as well for his team. Also the IGL. I mean, I think if we can't give it to Coach Anox, it has to go to Zhang Hai in the game, who's going to be the next step in terms of calling the shots. But going back to the overall storyline here for Korea, 
is yesterday even head coach Silva for Tamakia said, listen, I was the only, or you know, when I was a player, our team, X New Turn, was the only team that beat DRX to go to an international stage. Of course, you know, we saw F4Q join them at Berlin, but he says, I want to recreate that for my players. And I'm sure Perry feels the same way. He was also part of that squad. The only time a team beat uh, DRX to get to the finals, to get to an international stage. These are coaches and players who have been starving for this opportunity. And like you said, LCQ, that's not what they're thinking about right now. I mean, it's great. You know, it's kind of this margin. It's a little bit of insurance that you still have a shot at champions at the end of the year. But right now it's Copenhagen that everyone's waiting for around the world. Yeah, as we continue to just figure out who is going to be the representatives from every given region. So far, we've only had a couple teams get locked in EMEA. So sorting this stuff out, NA, it's all over the damn place at the moment. <laughs> Who knows what that's going to look like at the end when yeah. the dust settles. Seems like Optic likely for a, a repeat, but uh, could be some new faces making their way through. But uh, for now, it's all about Korea, the superior region. <laughs> <laughs> well, Fracture. Now, on Slayers, they played it once against Tomo and Kia during the round robin. They won very handily. But we're already seeing lots of changes again. I mean, the Breach, of course, a staple, but King? This time bringing out the Sage. Bazi not playing the Neon. Okay, so seems like they really suddenly on God Dead as kind of this main entry on the raise on a lot of these master on Slayers. Uh, meanwhile, also Maru not bringing out the double duelist this time. Nachi going back to the chamber. This allows him to have the KO as well, which provides a lot more stability both on attack and defense. I like the changes uh, on both sides, quite frankly. I mean, you expect Chiba to play the Neon. Having the Sage is going to be a huge boon, uh, both on defense and attack on a map like Fracture as well. Bazzi trying his hand at the chamber once more. Saw for the very first time yesterday. Didn't find success. The offing definitely looked off. We'll see how he fares going into this map because it's do or die for Onslayer's win here and extend this series or sit at home and wait for the LCQ. Let's see what happens. Let's see if Maru can close it out 2 0 on Fracture. So Mara Gaming not liking the result they had against WGSX uh, here in the playoffs and they played Fracture. That one ended in a 6-13 loss when they had Nocti on the race. So they go back to Old Faithful. Have that chamber uh, on Nocti allows for another initiator like KO. Uh, and now they will be the ones who are defending first. Nocti, oh, that, you know. I mean, that's a lot of headhunter shots just for a boom bot. But, okay. <laughs> he still gets the, uh, the big one at the end. Oh, okay. God dead gets taken down. Evens out at the end of the day. Doesn't feel too bad. Of course, he was waiting, uh, and then he wanted to get rid of the boom bot. Fault line doing a little work there. Now, do they expect someone to be pushed up this close after the rendezvous out? Jungai, of course, supposed to be watching Dish. High on the swing. Making too much of kick. Manages to come up with two eliminations. Oh! It's a little bit more, but no, G. Oh, he makes up for the earlier expended oh. bullets. Gets a two for one special. Oh, it all evens out. I mean, you are back up on the positive here. You've made a profit off of the headhunter. Oh, man. <laughs> Knock cheat. I'm. Whew. Go to the casino after this, my friend. <laughs> and Bossy so low. Sage already gone. TS also a little bit scratched up. This is this is going to be tough. Now, Maru, they're basically positioning themselves to be able to rotate fast, but they're not going to try to greed kills here, or they shouldn't, at least, given their positions. And they have a trademark, so Nocti just watching the arcade swing. They are very thorough. Oh, he hears it. He's, on, he's got four now. He's on for an ace in the pistol round to start things off and try to send Onslayers home. Fragment goes out. Nocti not going to get it. Wix will take it away from him, but I don't think he's going to care too much. I think he's just going to be jazzed up yeah. about that opening performance here. You definitely get the defuse, though. Yes, I think we just saw it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say he's so close to his uh, tour de force. You definitely want to give that one over. At the end of the day, he still gets five points. Five points towards his tour de force on the pistol. Now, this was a very good swing back from King, just very patient, but oh, oh the lineup for lineup for Nachi. And here, not greeting, right? He gets one kill, he says, my job is done. Yep. Now it's a 2v1. Uh, the ace, dude. Ah, he's like, my ace, where'd it go? He sounds like me. <laughs> <laughs> that, you know what he does. <laughs>
I will vouch for that one. Okay, well, two more points. He, he's feeling it. Has the Vandal. I mean, you have the rendezvous. Might as well. Make sure you can get ahead, because then you know you have the Tour de Force, right? A worthy investment. She pops waiting. As he crept up. Oh, what a horrific wow. <laughs> moment for Bazzi. What a setup for Maru. I mean, of course, Moves is just kind of holding behind the door. Now, with that kill, you have to give up on A, because especially with the smoke. And outside of that, too, running in with pistols from Dish without any support from main is nigh impossible. But B site, Wix is going to peek first. They want to try to keep this trademark alive as long as possible. Now, his position most likely is going to wait for the trademark. Otherwise, he was going to throw it at a minute mark just to peek. But I think he hears it's audio. Oh, the swing. DS. Nice headshot. Again, proving to be immensely uh, accurate when necessary with these sheriffs. Not Knock, just to stay tucked away. He's behind stranded. the box. He's stranded, but it's it's not a spot you would check. Certainly not. Oh, the drop! Swing out the nowhere. drop! The drop costs him dearly. Jump high over. Tries to make up for it. Manages to find two. The push up aggressively from Chief Up interrupts the plant, and now it's just King left. The fast lane up moves in the meantime. Got the final elimination, and Maru will not let it slip, slip through their fingers. I think it's damn close to happening, but <laughs> they will manage to keep three alive and retain that vandal. Oh, man, that was a very scary moment. I, I mean,. What a good position from Nakji just to catch them off guard. He tries to swing, and he, he just wants a wider angle. He steps off the box, uh, and I like the push up from Chibop. You know you have a good timing on the plant, but also you just simply do not want to allow them to pick up that Vandal, because then it's anybody's game. So he just pushes up while his teammates are watching tower for him, and then he draws out attention. Good recovery. Vandal continues this time for moves, and that's because Nakji is one point away from his tour de force. Boom, there it is. Whether he activates or not, he's going to wait. I think if he gets Conte and Rendezvous back and activates it, but otherwise, no need. Okay. All right, all right. He's just going to not take any chances after the initial timer. I mean, they should know. He's widely been positioned here on A. Just going to look for a bit of a timing shot. Not going to lead to anything, though. All right, so they have the information that not only was he here, he rendezvoused out, and he only has four rounds left on the Tour de Force. The thing is, is it's still so tough to try to break through that. You'd have to drum, uh, dump excuse me, all your utility to try to deny a, a cheeky shot from sight or from spawn. So they ditch a sight, and Maru has the same thought. You know what? We have the trademark up in dish. Let's just have faith in Nakji to stack on B. Now Rolling Thunder, classic setup here in sewers. Look at the positioning here oh. from Maru. I yeah, mean, they, they know. <laughs> they're very privy to this. Obviously, you can tell that he's got it. No one's going to be standing in the way. And Chibop just pushes aggressively off the back and the bin. Jung going to find one. Chibop does drop. Oh! The fragment gets Zumba. Jung High is just melting people down. The Molotov with TS. And Bazzi, the last one to fall. Moves getting involved. And Maru continuing to win. Massive setup and good awareness keeping track of the utility once you know it's not a okay rolling thunder we're not watching sewers we're holding sight uh, it's got to be a rolling thunder literally none of them get hit jung i mean gets a swing as everyone's kind of stunned and flashed there but uh, she's pushing in even though she doesn't get the kill allows jung to get the initial kill off of that fight as well a brilliant brilliant setup and now they change things up again they didn't push out Dish initially, which is something Maru's always done, either B main or Dish. So they set up the trademark, and this time they secure Dish side. Uh, Jungai also, on a timing, may want to try to get the orb on Arcade. We'll see. He's only one point away from the orbital command. Slow creep up. Orb taken. Trademark the only thing left here on the A site. They are suspicious about it, that heavy arcade presence, but they're not seeing anything. But if Maru can come and help secure the orb for Junghai, they'll have their own orbital command as well. And given the weaponry, I think they're okay for this retake onto A. Nakji is already in position to watch for a cross as well. Yeah, because this push hasn't come through yet, they do have a decent amount of time to try to get rotated over towards the site. Aid going out, Nakji pulling away link position. Tugs back, checks rope. Site now going to be taken, but everybody basically in position to try to 
regain control of this site on Maru. Join in, wall gonna be broken over in rope. They have to push main. Zimba has his own orbital command as well. Drop down, Wicks taken out. Jong Hai does manage. Find a kill, he's gonna orbital strike. Try to flush everybody over towards door. And he takes He'll out Zimba. And Zimba gone, King weakened. Has to pump the heal on himself. God, that in the meantime gonna fall. And that's them off the site. Oh. Jong Hai may have just traded his back. May have just kept them alive, but King with the Sheriff comes up with two, but Chiba pushes forward, keeping Nakshi safe. The Diffuse will be there, and Maru move up four and zero. And what an impact kill to take out Zumba. Again, I know they have the better weapons, but if they don't kill Zumba there, even if Jungai gets two and he gets traded back and Zumba can just sit in main with his orbital command, it gets a little dicey. They have to still push main, but he takes out Zumba first thing, and then he gets another one uh, onto Bazi. Incredible. We saw this uh, a couple days ago as well, cheering on for Maru Gaming with characters of uh, one of the more popular animations that has been revived. It's a very old one here. I feel like most people would recognize it. I don't yeah. remember the, the name. But. Yeah, I don't know the I don't know the English or Japanese name for it. I only know the Korean one, but very popular. Mark G is going to be fault line for the moment. Goes to the peak. Oh, they're Headshot. feeling it. I mean, so, yeah, he gets king. He gets the, the spike dropped onto the floor. And the zero point on domain allows him to already catch up right on the tail of Onslayers. Even if you plant this, you're stuck. I mean, I guess you have Dish, but you can't exit there that quickly. Push out, sheep up, sliding. Oh. Up and oh boy, spots Zimba, Nakji finds and TS. Oh no! Sheep up gets Zimba, that is the spike. Now straight in the corner. God dead. Tag down below half HP. This is for his teammate. This is an absolute oh, catastrophe. A flawless round to move up five and oh. Maru Gaming showed up to play. On Slayers do not have a leg to stand on right now. I've never seen on Slayers just lose fool this badly. I, it's very clear that they are not really knowing their own timings. First of all, their shots simply aren't winning, right? That's the first step. Maru Gaming is simply starting to win all of these initial duels. Maru is always the one getting the first kill. So on Slayers has to start with their back foot. But look at this. God dead on the entry. Can't get an assist. Can't get a kill. But then Bozzy is supposed to be the one with the chamber to trade that out. Can't get a kill. They're, this two, is... they're two effective duelists, yes. we'll put in quotations, because yeah. the chamber coming up short, 0, 5, and 1. Now, uh, again, only five rounds through. Sure, anything's possible if they can catch up, you know, make it a 5, 7, go to the half. Yeah, we can theorize about all that, but simply the way Onslayers is playing versus Maru. Maru is very confident in their timings. Their skills are perfectly set up for each other, and then they're winning the initial duel. So they're playing in a very comfortable zone. On Slayers, once they lose the initial battle, it's not even about their aim at that point. Now in a 4v5, their skills are all over the place. They're kind of playing for their own survival. They're not setting each other up. The kill average is just, it, it's just not there. It's pitiful from On no. Slayers right now. They're not even averaging two kills around. No, uh, yeah, exactly. Is, <laughs> that, I mean, that's completely uncharacteristic. For a team like On Slayers, you never want to see a, a moment like this, even if they ca catch back up. Uh, and th this fan is seeing exactly what they need to hear. <laughs> Yeah, you can do it. Don't give up, right? Don't get scared. Meanwhile. She just made another sign for Maru during that break? Yeah. Wow, okay. I mean, hey. Quick penmanship. Yeah, I mean, the, the team's Mark giving Urban out the... Mark Urbanship. Yeah, Mark Urbanship. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, I mean, Nachi's feeling it. Now, a lot of times when Maru can't get the eventual win, it's because Nachi's such a slow starter on those days, but not today. Just in time, really. I Chibop. mean, such a heavy presence forward at this door. Chibop is just lurking on the other side of the smoke. Same but different. Different angle on the smoke. Okay, Boombot does spotted. clear that angle. Oh, yeah. He will see the gun barrel. Yep. Sun out. He's just going to swing but, off the back of that yeah. one. Slides to the side, and Chibop is out. They're feeling it. I mean, again, sure, better weapons, but he is just confident that even if he dies, his teammate will trade him. That's the faith that Chibop needed. He always used to feel so alone, no matter which team he was on, and now... He's really feeling the support of his teammates to trade him out. He can do his thing. They are staying in with this commit over onto the A site. Tour de Force in hand as Bazzi creeps up to peak the site. Jong Hai 
Set on the opposite side of the wall, so not gonna be spotted. Cheap off, but scouted, gets one, gets a third. And even here, you could tell again the confidence because he doesn't use his really bolt first. He says, yep. okay, creep out I'll win the <laughs> He swings out, he's got it! Cheap off is heated up, all of Maru is! And they are looking absolutely unstoppable. Uh, if we count the last set, they're currently nine rounds in a row. On Slayer has just never regained control after losing the very last couple of rounds on Bind. They had caught back up so far in the second half of Bind, trying to get to match point first. They lose control of it. And now Maru is not letting go of this sweet, sweet chance. Unbelievable. Like, yes, it's into an eco round, but. But again, it's just showing you how fired up, how pinpoint yes. accurate Chibop is right now. Well, the accuracy, saving the relay bolt for the trade, I mean, just the confidence and then knowing how to play around what he has. Okay, well then okay. Bassy does things like that. Finally put some numbers on the board. That's what Onslayer's needed. First kills here. And the Operator. Operator is picked up. Bazzy doing things like that, getting away with these multi-kills. That's what Onslayer's absolutely needs. Moves though, catches Zimba. The smoke timing's just a little bit Whoa! off. He is, however, it's not quite a collapse, but it's still gonna be two shots into two skulls. Bazzy will have the finisher. And it's a quick reply from the side of Onslayer's to finally get a round win locked in. Oh, uh, but yeah, you can tell on, on their faces, it doesn't feel good just because it's so late into yeah. the half. I mean, they're in the second quarter of the game. Uh, now that it was definitely a moment of Nachi getting a little too comfortable, but this was a good read on Zumba. I, I think Zumba's starting to get <laughs> red uh, in terms of his smokes and how he works around it. People are starting to figure his patterns out. Now they, they try to stabilize, but Onslaughters has to win this round because otherwise they go back to a loss. They lose out on the streak creds. Not the streak creds, but the streak creds. I mean, if they lose the series, they're definitely going to lose a lot of street cred, they too. Actually, you know what? You're right. They do lose a lot of street cred. On the cred wild well. streets of Valorant. <laughs> Everybody's strapped. Oh, another Rolling Thunder. And yet again, Maru Gaming. Uh, they're ready for it if it happens, right? No one's standing in sight. No one's standing close to the tower. Oh, and he tags oh. the Breach and the Raise. I mean, that tells you everything you want to know. Yeah. What a read. If Bazzi's going to try to peek this, but Nakti is just so far forward in position. He's got his escape route set up as well with the, with the uh, rendezvous, rather. Yeah, and his teammates are covering him again, right? I mean, it's Junghai covering from Are they, are, did, are they just going to conga line into Nakti's line of sight? <laughs> All right, here we go. Maybe, well, I, they do have the res. So if King can trade here. I, mean, I feel like you have to put the wall up. Oh, I thought they were going to force Gaga to try go to first. They're trying to bait. Fragment comes out. Bit of damage oh, hit. Nakji not quite going to be able to get that flick. Swings a bit too far to the side. Jung in the meantime, though, does find King. Push up here onto the side. TS claiming two off screen. Looks for a little bit more. Paint Shells goes up over the top. Jung the last man standing. Oh! Just, he gets the headshot on the Bazzi, but TS Ooh. will come up with a 4K to win a second round. So Maru Gaming there, uh, they had a really good theory in their head. As soon as you see the Rolling Thunder fill the site back up first, using the smokes to make sure they can't entry. Unfortunately, they don't find their positions entirely before the fight continues, and they lose too many members, but it was a good idea so they don't have to work on a retake. And, and Jungai kicks this off, right? He just creeps into site, but Wix getting taken out allows T... Oh, just a spam through as well. Great effort from Zhonghai. Yeah, could have been the hero. Ooh, Bazzi. Bazzi. I, man, he, uh, the couple shots he's been able to take both yesterday and today, and now a lot of times his opponents aren't giving him the time of day, but he's, he has been whiffing more than usual. It certainly has. It's never a good sign for Onslayers. Bit of an ill omen. Maru, oh, they still have the overdrive as well, but they're still rolling in creds, so they feel okay. I, they have they have every ult. They can retake, which is why they're checking dish first for a, or a different change of pace here for Monslayers. Nakchi, watching over here, be main. The thing is, even if they trade with the Tour de Force, he'll get the slow field down. They're not gonna have much time. It's gonna be a fast entry here from God Denny. Does have a showstopper? TP out. 
now you have sprayed through. Yeah, not you have too to much, though. For the retake. The no command was used. Yeah, that actually gets rid of the rocket. Yeah, that cancels it. And, uh, they try to stop it, but it does eventually go down. So tools already used, and they can't deny the plan. You get a good amount of damage, and Rolling Thunder now goes crashing across. Here's the overdrive from Chibop. He knows that King is in the corner. He gets that kill. Just needs a little bit more, but as he, try, as he tries to push up into the tower, Goddead will strike him down. Goddead fights another one, but Nakji gets the final elimination there. Two rounds, all they can string together for now. Yeah, so a good catch, right? The null command used to at least stop the showstopper and any other potential utility to keep them at bay. And then they use the orbital command to try to deny it. Now they can't deny the plant, but they know at least the center of the site is clear. And Chibop getting the instant dual win uses the overdrive just to maintain speed. And then it's just God that the only one left in sight. Uh, but look at the way they're trading each other. Uh, their positions and angles they're holding, their comms have just improved tenfold coming into playoffs here for Maru Gaming. Well, it's been clear that they took these last two losses extremely oh. seriously. Oh, and now, now they're doing their thing. They haven't done it all day. No, they have not. Here comes the rush over towards spawn. Simba should have a decent idea of what's about to happen. Tucks away into the corner. Drop the fast lane. Do they check? Simba sprays through with the judge. Does manage to find one, but he and King both get dropped. Pushes through his side to get onto A, but the trademark is there to interrupt. Now the call can come through from Nakji. He's watching across the way uh -oh! again. Both of them! They line up perfectly. Again? Oh, Nakji. Another collat for the lad. And the spike is stuck in spawn. Bazzy, not a damn thing that we would expect that he could do. No, Nakji will not give him an opportunity. No window whatsoever. He slams it shut in his face. But talk about the discipline. Maru Gaming, the entire day so far, both on Bind and Fracture, they've never done their four stack rush on defense. Not a single time. They had the pitch earlier, but it wasn't this fast. It wasn't the classic Maru setup. And then they say, now is the time. This is the round where Onsers is desperate for another buy win. Because if they can't get this, they don't get any more rounds in the uh, first half, most likely. What a way to just shut down any form of hope. Utterly brutal attacking side. Three sheriffs, a headhunter, and a frenzy. Oh, they'll use to try to oh, take the site. No. Nachi, he gets distracted. He turns the site back over towards main. That's God then approaches from Sans, gets the big punish. Like you say, that's the off drop. Major pick up there. As the wall will buy some time and a rope. They do break through rather quickly. TS stun. If the push comes through right now. Ooh. Could have been in a rough spot. They, they know they have, escape. Yeah, they know they have to push in because they need to get rid of this potential operator destroying their retake. Rolling Thunder buys enough time. Now they only get one strike here for Marvel Gaming. Uses it just to stop the push coming through. God damn finding one tries to jump no! away. Oh, oh but the stun is in. He quick scopes in, gets wicks in the skull. And it's a thrifty victory here for Onslayer. Something that they're wishing at this point that they had a hell of a lot more of on this map. Oh man, and let me eat my words. I mean, it looked like Nakchi has shut down any hope of extra rounds here on the first half because it was another eco, but the thrifty end here. Nakchi, he was holding a position because he had the trademark in main. Once they come through Sands, he, he thinks a little too much, right? On which angle to hold. It's taken out, and then Goddead uses the op to perfection in main. Yeah, great little quick scope hit. Now we go into the last round of the half. Is it nine and three? Or is it eight and four? Bolt line, a decent read. Slows up a couple boombot. on the backside of Dish. The boom bot there as well. The scout left side. She bop will clear it. Well, this is just a battle of utility to keep each other locked in. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's like a fight laser tag. <laughs> yeah. Shoot beams of light on each other. <laughs> that's what it sounded like, too. But Noxie gets the first kill eventually after all that utility dumped from both teams. Oh, and I mean, good on both teams, right? They know we've already told each other where we are. We ha One of us has to get a kill. Marmor comes out on top. I, I like the boombot setup from God Dead, though, right? You fault line the right side of Dish, and then you boombot the left. You keep them trapped behind to try to push through. It's just Moves was right there to answer back. Everybody reuniting. Slow creeping towards B, but Nakji's there. He's got a tour de force. He's starting to inch oh, a little bit Nakshi. further forward. Scopes back in. Gets Bazzy. 
Exits around the corner. The smoke's now getting dropped. He looks for the swing out. He whips the shot. God then finds the opener. But Wick shuts him down, gets a second kill. And now it's just somebody doesn't stand a damn chance. Nine to three on the half. Maru. You know what? I know the limits of my players. I know what they want to do. Let me formulate these comps and styles and strats to adjust to what they like to do. And it's working. Yeah. And now they don't have much further to go to close it all out. I mean, all widely jazzed up Jonghai remaining stony faced. He knows it's not over yeah, until I mean, it's over. Yeah, that's what he needs, and that's exactly what Mario Gaming needs. They often get overly excited, especially players like Chi Bob. Sometimes even Nakji himself. He's been feeling it a lot here, both on Bind and Fracture. But if they can just stay calm, they know that they've been winning the aim dose to begin with. Well, once more into the ever important pistol rounds, which have. All been going the way of Maru thus far. Oh, okay. Bassi starts things off nicely, but over aggresses, does not teleport back to safety, so Jonghai is able to trade it. A one for one in the end, just both chambers going to be taken down. Wall comes up defensively from King. Try to stop the aggression, but here's Cheap Up. Stormed his way through with a frenzy, gets right on top of the Sage, and that gives him the man advantage. But he didn't clear main, so they see pings. He's telling his teammates he didn't clear. Oh, and they pick up on it right away. Good comms. I was afraid of that because he left without clearing, but the comms are there for Maru Gaming. Just fantastic communication, keeping calm. They jump the corner. They jump God dead. Moves now. Trying to do a bit of the same maneuver, and Tien looks away. Oh, man. He's checking Cubby early, but then disregards it. Doesn't really recognize the angle he needed to hold, and even though uh, of course, Moves ends up winning. Even if he had died, Jonghai was so ready on the trade there, and Shibab knows where Zunba is. Uh, they're four for four on pistols. Oh my god, you're right. Maru just have not dropped the pistol. And, oh, and, and this time, it was definitely a lot more maneuvering, right? I mean, of course, they had already pushed through Dish, and Shibab is there to back up his teammates who are locked out from the Sage Wall. Yeah, I mean, you see him on the minimap there, just storming his way through Dish. He's like, huh, there's nobody here? Oh, look, King, cool. <laughs> and then we see Moves picking up on the call from Chibab that he has not cleared out main yet. You saw Jonghai in the corner of your screen, just ready for the trade in case Moves go down. Five Spectres. They want to shut this game down. Bazzi immediately having the TP out, immediately dropping off of Generator to keep himself safe. Cheap Hop just unbobbing and weaving like a bad man, trying to avoid all of his own utility, his teammate's utility. The push up from Zumba is going to be decent, finds one. Nakji, however, gets in behind TS. He's playing through the smokes like a sneaky snake. Zumba will be found as well. Mario now. Oh, with I'm the advantage, Bazzi taken out. King gone. It's all on God that with a sheriff to try to find some extra value to make this costly for Maru, but I don't know if he'll be able to get anything at all. And here's the thing Maru Gaming, th this is going to mean so much to them because they're finding out yes, when we. When we are in our best form, we can compete in these duels. We can compete with our set plays, with our trades. Okay, hold okay, on. One. Let me not get excited there. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy that just actually clutches this. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, Maru, please don't let my storyline die like that. <laughs> don't let it flop on the ground. Hey, I'm all for it. I think it'd be pretty damn wild if he could make it happen, but he cannot. Shanghai puts an end to it. But as I, was, yeah, as I was saying, I, I mean, this is something they needed to tell themselves. I, we heard Nakji in the beginning of the stage before the tournament started, before Round Robin started, he said, we want to be included in this discussion for top tier teams in Korea, for teams that can try to put up a fight or at least learn to slowly catch up to DRX. Why are we left out of the conversation? And then all Round Robin, everyone was like, no wonder you were left out of the conversation. You can't find consistency. And today they say, okay, if we can even win in aim duels and then we Kind of pick out these strats from a Nox's deep pocketbook of strategies catered for Chibob's aggression. We can catch up. Well, now just two more to go on Slayers. Need the dig so very deep beyond oh. the crust of the earth. They will split the team oh. in two, but Chibob oh. does not care if he's all by himself. Free Phantom. Now they know the weapon. And they knew there was a wall here, so Chibob still drives through, but they've already rotated to B. That they have. Weapons picked up. Knock G looking to hold it. Swings in. TS will catch him slightly off guard, but moves with the sheriff. Goes ahead, cuts him down. The spike gonna be planted. It's all on God Dead and Bazzi. Bazzi currently stuck inside tower. God Dead trying to inch out from spawn. 
Now with that gunshot, that gives the timing for Wix to slowly catch up on the Lurk. Now he was waiting so long for another deep rotation. Content reading this quite nicely. Gets one, but is he expecting the, the second? second wraparound? Not okay. yet. Wix is time. He's pushing up on the flank. Storms the corner. Got that block oh! pass. He can only get one and moves. Sets up the aftershock. Gets the elimination. And it's match point. Oh, and we just heard Nakji say, we're there. We're here. We're here. We made it. We've got this. He knows one more round. All they have to do is play what they practice. And they've shown that they can do it all day today. Utterly incredible. And this would have to be one of the greatest all-time runbacks that I have ever commentated in any eSport. If Onslayers is going to get back into this and take us into overtime, Wall comes up to try to slow up the aggression from Cheap Op. They will just go ahead, melt that away. God dead. Showstopper in hand, but the blast packs have already been used, and there's no one close enough for him to hit this with. It will just expire. Oh, and, and now he's got a retreat. He can't peek. I mean, he has a judge, but he can't peek the wide angle. If Nakji had just swung the corner, he would have been able to take him down. Instead, we'll get a second piece on life, it would seem. Got that now, just making his way through spawn, trying to rejoin in with the rest of the squad. Simba leading the charge against Wix. Moves against his back. King eliminated. Fire. Shots firing across Cheap Hop. He sees Simba's head, but he can't get the shot. TES peels for him. But I like this. I like that they were already on their way to make the exit, because once Cheap Hop cannot move anymore in the site, you do not want to commit to it. You knew that A was empty thanks to Nakji clearing the backside. Now, Onsers is aware. And trademark. Then, yeah, the trademark will go off as well. They, they suspect that Nakshi could be you know, already lurking deep, but it is a 3v5. They oh, have to they, check this. Do they, okay. As he swings, he spots him. Call comes in. How many can Nakshi delay? How many can he kill? Tries to back up, still going to be hit by oh, that oh, stun. No. And the weapon, oh, the timing is just a bit off from Nakshi, but Junghai in the meantime! Junghai! He gets three of them! It's just Bazzy left alive as he drops Shout. down off the rope. Shanghai will take him out, and I cannot believe it. Maru Gaming will 2-0 on Slayers, eliminating them from the playoffs. An absolute miracle of a match on all fronts. Maru Gaming proving to themselves and the fans that they deserve to be Part of the discussion of top tier teams, of teams who can slowly catch up to DRX, try to gun for that top spot, at least tier one, and shutting down on Slayers who have become the villains of VCG Korea, who have had so much confidence that they felt that they could be lax about their strats, bring it up for playoffs, and they cannot prove themselves. The reality of the situation that on Slayers finds them in now tumbling down around them. Maru Gaming, the Cinderella story, it shall continue. A rough go of things and an emotional conclusion to stage one playoffs for Maru. Yes. She bought in tears yes. after their loss. I mean, they because they knew they, they knew they could go further. They always felt that they had the right pieces. And here's the thing, by winning this match, they are now ahead of, or you know, potentially ahead of WGS Exit yeah. in circuit points. If WGS Exit cannot beat Spear Gaming in the second match of the night, Maru Gaming secures their LCQ spot. A huge story for them. A lot of potential in this young squad. And obviously, the story doesn't end here for Onslayers. Speaking of LCQ spots, as we've already mentioned, they are locked in for that. Yes, Onslayers still has not at all what they wanted, no. not at all what we had anticipated. It felt like coming back into stage two after seeing you know the first half of the round robin play. Yup, DRX on Slayers, the likely repeat grand finals. And not to be. We are no. guaranteed at least one different team in the grand final here for stage two, whether it's Dom One, whether it's Maru, whether or not DRX themselves can make it, who knows? I mean, who knows, right? I mean, Damwon Kia, they're, they're looking like they're figuring things out day by day, so we'll have to wait and see. But right now, all eyes, all praise goes to Maru Gaming and, and the heavy shoulders of Onslayers' IGLTS not being able to lead his team to victory, bringing out all they prepped. They brought out all these new compositions, new plays, new angles, and Maru Gaming reads right through it with one day to figure it out after watching the match against Damwon Kia yesterday. And, and 
I think a huge also victory for Coach Anox. You know, yes. uh, you know, as someone who was also a new coach, shifting from player to coach, coming into 2022, goes for a rebuild for a couple members on the roster here in stage two. Wants to prove that he's leading in the right direction, and boy, does he do it, because the way that Maru beats on 13-3 on Fracture, and even on Bind, the undefeated on Slayers, Maru Gaming beats them. This was not a fluke. They came prepared, their aim was on point, the strats were good, and the way they adjusted, I mean, the fact that they didn't push out except until that one round on Fracture, I mean, what a change from Maru Gaming. Utterly dismantled the research that this team clearly did in such a short period of time, because I think most people would why, would somewhat wisely have expected, you know, if you're in Maru's position, we're going to be playing against Dom One. Yeah. On Slayers should be Dom I mean, which One. Said Let's himself. do our prep against, uh, you know, yeah. against them. Oh, no. It's on Slayers. We now need to go back to the drawing board, figure out our sets, figure out what our map draft is going to look like, and they absolutely completed it in less than 24 hours. Yeah, I, yeah. Wix said it in the pre-match interview. He said we were prepping for Dom Wan. Yep. And then, and then we were caught off guard. So he wasn't sure, but <laughs> Anox was sure apparently, because here they are <laughs> with the best counter against on Slayers' play on two of these maps. And uh, again, I think it all starts with, like you said, the map bam pick. Leaving it open, Junghai as the IGL on Brimstone finishes with a 3.6 KDA. Incredible uh, from him. I mean, the whole team, Chibop creating an, an immense amount of space. The flanks that he was able to go for. Nakchi starting things off with the near pistol ace, getting the collat <laughs> on the headhunter, the collat on the operator. It was, so much impact was felt by multiple members of the side of Maru. And this is such a, a tough MVP to call. Shanghai maybe wins it out because of that IGL factor you mentioned. I, I think you have to, right? I, to be able to lead this team. But I, I'm glad you mentioned kind of all these different players because this proves so much. In <laughs> you can see how happy Nakji is. Finally, finally taking down a tier one team. He's been hungry for this like two years, basically. He's been here since the beginning. But everyone had so much individual growth. Yeah. Okay, there. Junghai's gonna <laughs> win it. <laughs> You love to see it. You love to see it. A great Cinderella story. Used to be on Damwon Kia. Finds himself on a new team, having to lead a new squad, work with new teammates, a new coach. And boy, the trust between him and Anox as IGL and coach, and then his teammates and him as IGL and teammates. Uh, I mean, what a leader here for Maru Gaming. It's great. And, you know, as I turn the page back in my notebook to yesterday's matches, I see two figures kind of stand out. 11-13 loss for Onslayers into a 3-13 loss for Onslayers. The same thing that happened yesterday. Oh, man, you're right. The only difference is that they didn't win on bind for the first time. For the first time. Ever since the team's creation. That's, uh, you know, here on the main stage. That's incredible. Yeah. I mean... For Maru Gaming to do that research in that split second of a time, especially when also on Slayers changed their composition coming in to playoffs, uh, it can't give enough credit here to Anox and just overall the staff and the players too to keeping up with that pace. Not everyone can do it, you know, no matter how smart your coach might be. Yeah. To be able to take that in, digest it, and showcase it with stability, which is, I think, the biggest thing the squad was missing before. Yeah, it certainly is. I, you know, I remember talking to. Uh, the coaching staff and the management group after they got eliminated last stage, mm. and you know, Chibop had obviously been you know visibly upset on stage, yes. backstage, etc. Um, and they said, you know, what do you think are the issues? What do you think the things are that we need to improve? And I said, you know, widely, I hope that you guys can stay together as a team. They yes. didn't quite do that. You know, they added, a, they shifted a couple <laughs> positions. Yes, they got a very veteran IGL in Zhonghai out of this roster. They worked on their synergy, but I also said, I think you need to rein in Chibop a little bit because sometimes he goes a little bit loose. Yeah, I, They I, didn't listen to that either. <laughs> but they learned how to empower him. But I, that's what I love about Coach Anox because everyone, even the Korean companies, we've all said the same thing, right? Is you, you got to reel Chibop in, right? WGS yeah. is trying to re reel Han in. You got to reel Chibop in. And it, it was clear they tried it with all these different comps. And then Anox says, no, we can't. We simply cannot. Yep. The, how do we work around it? Chibop, you don't have to go kill. At least go forward. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I've never been happier to see somebody completely ignore advice that I've given <laughs> in my life because uh, they really have just figured out how to just have Cheap Bop insert himself into positions where he's either gaining information, gaining kills, or distracting so that everybody else can swarm around uh, the enemy team. And this is a story of different entries here in Valorant, right? This used to be the storyline, you know, last year when Mech 
M3 champions uh, was starting to really win, and people were like, well, is Defo a good entry? And, well, he's a good entry for the team, right? Create space. Same story here for Chibop. He can frag, but in fact, it's better if he doesn't try to frag and just clears all the angles first, gets the intel, comms with his teams, which is something we saw in some of the content pieces that Chibop admitted to, uh, not being able to do well in the heat of the moment with his teammates, not listening, not talking. Clearly, that was not an issue today. We saw some very clear moments where he was giving the information his teammates needed to follow up on his entry. And, and again, incredible growth from all of the players. Chibob uh, really appreciating the adjustment from his teammates and his coach to say, okay, well, I can still do my speedy style. I just don't have to get all the kills. A uh, Junghai working around it. And also, incredible storyline for both Chibob and Junghai, who are both members who used to be part of Damon Kia. Of course, Chibob yep. way back in the day. Uh, Junghai just until last stage. They find themselves on new squads, come back together, and now they're able to take down Odd Slayers, the finalists of Stage 1, the villains of VCT Korea. They've conquered them, and in such an inspirational way, uh, you know, from because, yeah, Bind, very, very close, nearly went to overtime, <laughs> yeah. but it's... You know, it was on Slayer's map pick, and they had previously not lost at all. They are now yes. 10 and 1 on that map all time. You know, so for them to be able to get that victory there, to counter strat them on their best map, and then to come into Fracture, that on Slayer's obviously had a, a, a degree of confidence on. So, in like, okay, yeah, we'll leave that up. Yeah. We know that, you know, this is a map that Maru likes to go to from time to time. Uh, they feel confident in that, and it just completely backfires. blows up in their face. And again, you can't blame them, right? You're 9-0. and zero. No matter how close it got, you always won. You came up with a new composition that destroyed Damwon Kia yesterday on Vine. Of course you felt confident. Uh, but Maru Gaming, I don't know what they did. I don't know how much. Maybe they just didn't sleep at all. Who knows? But they did their research. And, of course, uh, in case you're wondering, we do have another match today after this banger of a first set or oh, first yeah. match. Uh, the next one should also be a good one. WGS Exit and Spear Gaming also playing uh, to survive here in the loser's bracket. Yeah, I mean, pressure's mounting for both of those squads. WGS obviously, you know, more veteran in that regard. Uh, but Spear, newcomers, do we just see a repeat storyline where Spear takes down WGS and it's just the battle of the, you know, the rookies I mean, in I quotation think marks here I think today? it's doable. I mean, Spear Gaming is a team that have really shown... Uh, their growth and if anything they have good foundations right a lot of these players can use the operator well they have good aim as long as they're not getting in their own heads uh, they uh, they understand macro play now the question was always depth and consistency do you have more plays in your playbook because if you want to go in these best of threes eventual best of fives you got to be better prepped uh, but thankfully for Spear Gaming, WGS also not exactly the most consistent team here in uh, VCT Korea. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 far <laughs> from it. Um, but both of these squads have had their issues when it comes down to just overall map strength. You know, yes. they very much have the maps that they like to play and then a, a decent chunk of the maps that they really want to avoid. I'm curious to see what these drafts are going to look like because this is also, you know, Spear and WGS have clashed many a time. Uh, and typically, it goes to three. It's <laughs> pretty much guaranteed to be, uh, guaranteed to be a long series. Um, so I think you guys should definitely take the time. Oh we have our little extended break while the players get ready on stage to uh, get a snack. Yeah, maybe have absolutely. some coffee, something to wake you up a little bit because, oh boy, this is going to be a wild ride. For the first time up. that these teams ever faced, it ended up going all the way to three. And Spear, you know, they took down WGS. They, they did. I, Spear, again, Spear is a fun underdog team to watch. But look at this, Bar Gaming moves on in the loser's bracket, something they've wanted so dearly. And now, uh, potentially just simply one step ahead of WGS and circuit points. Now, can they do it again? Because once more, they're going to have about 24 hours to prepare. Yes. Yes. They don't know who their opponent is going to be yet either because it's going through WGS again for the fourth time this Very stage, well could be. <laughs> or it's Spear Gaming. So they will once more have limited time to try to get ready for that one. But uh, I mean, I, I'm now more excited for that lower bracket match than I think I, I would have been under, you know, my previous expectations. Yes. yes. Um, DRX Absolutely. versus Damwon, the anticipation for that is just skyrocketing as Damwon continue to look better and better. Yeah, uh, we're now set up for a very, I mean, every day is now guaranteed to be super exciting, right? We've already had expectations overturned. Damon Kia finally answer back against Onslayers. Maru Gaming take down Onslayers. 
Now every, I mean, I'm sure everyone's pickups are kind of all over the place now, destroyed. Oh, yeah. uh, don't want to look at that again, but it does make for an incredible bracket. Yeah, I don't envy anybody who's trying to play the pick'em game or you know betting <laughs> on, on these sorts of things because, uh, who you probably got done dirty. But if you did bet on Mark, you probably got some decent odds. Wow, well, <laughs> yeah, but I mean, but I don't anything, know the figures on that one. But, but more than anything, it was very exciting to watch. I, I'm just so happy oh. for Maru. They've got to be so proud of themselves after that victory. Yeah, I mean, considering how emotional they were after the loss last time, this has to be just complete and utter elation. Yeah. I mean, we already got to see Noxie a bit, you know, popping off in the back room. Just I've never seen overjoyed. him that happy. Yeah. yeah. It's normally fairly serious, but <laughs> enough from us, guys. Let's go ahead throw it down to the stage. We have an interview with Jung Hai. Let's get his thoughts on the win. Well, on Slayers versus Maru, it's Maru that lives to see another day. Let's hear from Maru's Jung Hai after that 2 0 victory against their opponents on Slayers. Congratulations, Jung Hai. You guys get to stay in the playoff contention with today's victory. How do you feel? Jung Hai 선수 승리 축하드립니다. 오늘 승리로 플레이오프 일정을 계속할 수 있게 됐는데요. 지금 기분이 어떤지부터 들어볼게요. 어, 기분 일단 되게 좋고요. 아까 기분 좀 많이 신내가지고 지금은 조금은 덤덤해진 것 같아요. 네. Well, yeah, I mean, um, it does feel really great. Um, obviously, it's a really great win. We get to stay in playoff. Um, and right after the match ended, we were all happy and all hyped up. And I kind of feel like that feeling kind of soaked in a little bit at the moment. Well, I want to ask you about the bind and what made you guys open the bind because On Slayers was on 10 game winning streak on this map. 그러면 이제 바인드 얘기부터 해보면 좋을 것 같은데 일단 온 슬레이어스가 오늘 경기 직전까지 10연승을 달리고 있던 맵이 바인드였잖아요. 자신 있게 오픈할 수 있었던 이유는 무엇인지부터 얘기해 주시죠. 어, 온 슬레이어스의 플레이 방식을 조금은 파악하기 쉽다라고 생각했었고 일단은 솔직히 조합이 좀 저한테는 쉬웠어요. 네. Well, uh, first of all, on Slayer's play style, I think it's a little bit uh, easy to analyze how they play and uh, how things work. Um, and also, when you take a look at their composition, I mean, personally, I thought their composition would be like a easy one to go up against. Um, but you said you guys didn't expect to face on Slayer's in the loser's bracket today. So, And on Slayer's even won the bind. So what did you see in their play or in their composition that you could take advantage of? 그러면 그래도 이제 온 슬레이어스를 만날지 예상하지 못했다고 했잖아요. 빠르게 좀 허점을 찾을 수 있었던 비결이 있을까요? 어, 대회 때는 시간이 얼마 없잖아요. 대회 중에는 그래 가지고 그때그때 좀 저희가 얘기를 많이 나누고 전략도 많이 짜고 그래 가지고 쉽게 좀 대처했던 것 같아요. 네. Well, uh, yeah, we didn't have enough time uh, to prep a lot. So, you know, we're kind of used to uh, adjusting things a little bit, tweaking things a little bit as things go on. And I guess that's what worked well today. Well, what does it mean to you and your team to be able to develop as a roster at an important stage like this and, you know, improve, become stronger? 그러면 이제 이렇게 중요한 순간에 계속해서 팀이 함께 발전해 나가고 또 약점은 극복해 나가면서 더 강해질 수 있다는 게 어떤 의미일까요? 어 저희 팀이 정말 잘할 수 있는데 그런 부분을 네, 같이 발전시키면은 그런 되게 좋지 않을까 싶습니다. 네. I know we have so much potential, so it means a lot to us to be able to keep proving that and to be able to do these things together. Well, you'll be facing the winner of the next match. So what are your thoughts on the upcoming match, Spear Gaming versus WGS? 그러면 이제 다음 매치에서 다음 대결의 승자가 결정되잖아요. 어떤 팀이 이길 거라고 예상하시는지, 그리고 어떤 팀을 만나고 싶은지 들어볼게요. 어, 어떤 팀이 이길지는 예상은 못 하겠지만, 그냥 WGS가 올라와서 복수하도록 하겠습니다. 네. I'm not really sure who's gonna win, but I really want WGS to win, and maybe we'll get the revenge this time around. Well, that was Jung Hai from Maru Gaming, and yes, we have another match coming up. Spear Gaming versus WGS. Who gets to stay and who goes home? We'll find out after the break.